time, you are watching the FM Senpai, the Bate Beast, Zalando Escobar, a Minesweeper Champion, Geography Champion, and Streamer Showdown Champion, Vice Captain America himself, Z It's not the chair I sit on anymore. I've got one of these now. That is the chair I used to sit on, though. There is. For half a year, so I need to ask Zed, what are we? <laughs> we're pretty, we're getting pretty serious. I uh, don't worry, Triple Dots. It makes me uncomfortable too. Thank you for the half year. Good morning, Congrats to Zed. Silver. Good morning, fellow hammers. Good morning, Tarman. Looking forward to your silver bacon next month. Thank you, Vex. Appreciate the three months. It's like a hat trick or something. Hell yeah. Brother, secondhand VR set. <laughs> Thank you for the two months as well. Welcome everybody, uh, not just to the hammers, but to the stream today. We are concluding the transfer deadline today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we have a lot of money to spend. I have been cooking up different ways to try and spend it. I am officially done with my spring semester of classes. I have like a final exam coming up. I'm going to have to take care of, but pff, that's next week's problem. You know what I'm saying? Next week, me is going to have to deal with that. No, Verde, thank you. Sweet. Checks out. Matt, thank you for these 16 months as part of the hammers, dude. Is that my name, Jabetz? I appreciate the three months and the tier ones. Nailed it. All right, um, before we go any farther, hello, YouTube. Hi, welcome to the stream, YouTube. Mainly people in Australia that are asleep right now uh, that then watch the streams back on YouTube. Hello to you. Hi, hope you're doing well. Have a great rest of uh, you know your day and such i'm currently bottling the league like prime spurs any tips to see in chat hold a team meeting try and turn your morale around other than that start uh, matches more defensive and then get more aggressive as you play your way into the game so that you can compensate for your poor morale there's not too much you can do though it's all the little individual things and moments where you can give yourself a chance a chance to succeed isn't that what we're all after chat everywhere my first time my first stream to watch this is confusing, says Bright Wolfmaster. Okay, so, uh, Bright Wolfmaster, welcome, first of all. Th this is confusing, all right, I promise. We're gonna, we go down over here, and then all of a sudden we're playing football manager, and then it should make a lot more sense, right? Now, there are gonna be noises and stuff happening, but just keep it right here, okay? The noises are people joining the hammers. Now, that's what allows us to do basically everything that we do. I uh, do. I just hired two more editors to help with live channel stuff. So we have a lot of fun things going on because people like Son of Skellige spend $5 of Jeff Bezos money to get into an elite online gaming community. Noises like this. Yes, noises like that. Okay. We've done two things. We go over them. We have, we have, of course, as always, we've not advanced today in between streams, but I have done some scouting, sitting here, taking a look at things. Skellige, make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord and kilograms over a year and just on that grind of the 14 months. Ugh. Aren't the noises from you? Sometimes. Wow. <laughs> Yo, with the 10 gifted subs, the Nick throws it down to Zap Trip, Deegan, Matt Blade, Kamajor, Leviathan, Matsy, Togo, Hive Games, Wiko, Rusty Shackleford. <sighs> All of you are in the hammers. Courtesy of the Nick, who now has like 40 gifted subs to the channel. Eight months with the American Dr. Benji. One more for the baby. 
Looking forward to it. It's about ready to burst, Coach Dave. It's unbelievable. Is there a different summer schedule? It will be fluid for the next couple of weeks. We will be streaming more, though, not less, because I've got my final exam on Wednesday, which means we'll cut that uh, on Wednesday. On Monday, we're going to start the stream uh, a lot later than we normally do because I have a Monday, like, review session that starts in the afternoon, and so we're going to have a late stream on Monday, right? But there's some things that are just going to be, like... Um, fluid a little bit but we will be going back to the five days a week streaming every weekday which is going to be a lot of fun uh but my exam i think i'm just going to stream in the morning and then get off before that uh so that's that but if you got gifted a sub by nick make sure you get in the subsection of the discord nick thank you again for 10 gifted to just kick off the stream we're in hype train level four there, there's also another change. There's another change I, I, I forgot to mention. We we might have just added like some emotes. Uh, and by some, I mean like, like a, a lot. So we've got just generic bacon now, like nice bacon. We've got your double community for the whisper of the uh, of community, right? We've got, we've got a VAR check, a red card. We've got a mom bot emote whenever she pops up. And then we have... We're testing out this idea. We've got player specific emotes. So we've got a Portia chip and uh, some French gloves for Poulet Matty Manier whenever he happens to make a great play. So we, we're trying to add, you know, if you think of good emote ideas, right? Something that uh, that we could bring out for a particular player, a player. Those are the two players we felt like earned emotes last season as players that were just absolutely tremendous. So we'll see. We'll see how it plays. We'll see how it feels. We'll feel out the vibes, you know, and then we'll... Uh, well, I would, uh, probably every season make a few adjustments when it comes to emotes probably and every which players and shut up me uh, I just had to get the chat up on the side here and it takes a little, uh, little finagling good afternoon Zealand what is your main focus today spending money cool I added that to the checklist so two players <laughs> ninja Jackson with the bubbles in the four months. Wow. And Ninja Panda with the five gifted subs. One, two, three, four, five. Symmetry, Prex, Muzzy, Calypso, and Theraper. You're in the hammers. No Verde, thank you for extending through September as well. But this is for Ninja Panda right here. We can be. Welcome to an elite online gaming community. Jacob, welcome from YouTube as well. There's a couple people that said they've been here really for the first time, or they're coming in for the first time, in which case, welcome to the stream. You know? Get, get you dip, you know, dip your toes into the chat, see how you like it. Nude, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. Enjoy all the fancy new emotes we've got going around. Okay. Two guys. One. I am trying to sign this guy named Victor Navarro. Victor Navarro. Victor Navarro. Okay. <sighs> Satanic with the gifteds to Barnet, Hezzy, Thargoff, La Polga, Formidable Dave. You guys are in the hammers. Satanic with the five. <laughs> Gifted subs. I can support my favorite streamer with this and join the online gaming community. Elite. Elite. Oh my god, it's going off right now. It's going off right now. Elir, thank you for the three. Congrats on cooking your bacon. Let's go, chat. We're gonna we're gonna hire two new more editors at this rate. This is beautiful. Cash with 10 gifted subs. Thrown down Ruben Senpai with a gifted sub as well for Ruben Senpai. The second cash is at 215 gifted subs. Working their way up the all time list for most gifted. It's pretty nuts. Zaps, Nexus, Legend, John, J. Huge potato. Congrats on the size of your potato. Bebby Force, Dredge King, Mazur, Puff Jack. Uh, Cetacea and Louie Lutz. You're in the hammers. Congratulations. <gasps> yes. First time live, but your past streams have been godsend getting me through work lately. Stringy, I'm glad I could help, man. Okay. Two signings. Right now that we're 227% on hype train level five to start the stream. Boy, you know it's going to be a good Friday. Friday. 
This is Navarro. So the reason I want to sign this guy is because our official transfer offer is literally $18,000. Um, we do not have time to finish this scouting report on this guy. And I feel like uh, when we're talking about this type of value, somebody for $18,000, he's worth it no matter how good he is in this range, right? So uh, I'm willing... Uh, the money is a little steep, though. What do you guys think? This is... I, I found two players. Two players that it made sense to offer right now off stream. And obviously their contract negotiations have popped up for us right now. He's already got six caps for the Panamanian national team and a goal. He was prolific for the U-20s. Uh, and he's obviously been prolific in his club career because he's playing in freaking Panama. Um, for $18,000, uh, the wage is a little high. It's definitely a little high. Sperry, welcome. Thank you for raiding over. You can always delay and wait. Yeah, I just don't know if we can... Uh, it's only 12%. We got a week left. I think, yeah, you can always delay and wait, right? But I think we might have to actually prioritize the scouting a little bit. How could you poop on two Rome Dutas? More Rome Dutas means more goals, Kappa. But then he wasn't playing any defense. Goals weren't his problem in that save, man. He was not playing any defense. The other guy is Togli's left back, Claude Hubert. Uh, so the reason I decided to do this is the transfer offer is literally, and I cannot stress this enough, zero dollars. So we offer zero dollars for a dude who's in the Togolese national team at the age of 20. His wage is allegedly, allegedly going to be really low. We'll just get rid of both of these and we should be able to negotiate him to way down. Oh, he's a little moody, huh? Little moody, little, little frisky. We're getting frisky. Okay, okay. He's, he's got some pride. Digging his heels in on this one. The 17. Thank you. All right, Claude Hubert. Uh, there is no compensation. We're signing him for free from the Togolese League. And, uh, you know, he, like, he's so cheap that it makes sense in any, you know. He, he's so cheap that it just makes sense. Right, Battenberg? I appreciate your defense of the Raumdeuter. The Raumdeuter deserves defense. It's a fun role to play with. But the person in that save that we were looking at, they just... They weren't playing enough defense, you know? They 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 struggled defensively. God save a gracious Panama. Where is Panama in the alphabet? There we go. Okay. Onward and upward. Okay, so those are the two guys I'm looking at signing. We also have four million that we can spend. About three, probably 3.3 .3 million that we can spend. You can co-seed five as long as you score six. Well, that, that guy obviously wasn't, though. He missed out on European places, even though he was in the Champions League final. That's just weird. That's Chelsea vibes, you know? Ah, Kota Yamada. No adaptability whatsoever. Which means we're just going to go ahead and drop him off the shortlist, as weird as it feels, because we would just probably never sign him. His wage is extreme. Not a guy we would sign. Mornay Solomon. Uh, okay, Jose Matias wants a new contract. I mean, we can pry and talk him out of it. Pule Matty Manye is on fire with this sort of stuff. Do we want to give him a new contract, though? Regular starter I can live with. We don't want any escalator. Um, yeah, if he wants a release clause. I mean, he doesn't have a guaranteed release clause in here. I'll get rid of all this stuff. Do you want a five-year contract worth 130000 He's going to be like, no. Oh. Pretty reasonable. I mean, we did just pluck him... Uh, say it with me together, straight out of the Angolan League. So, you know, could be worse. Bullied that guy. That's a tremendous deal for a very good player. Happy about that. Steve Darker, you can concede five as long as you score six. You're the one that said that? <gasps> On your silver bacon. Jose Mourinho is very upset with you. Sign Navarro and a B team manager. Do I not in charge of the B team staff? So, like, here, B team. Sir sort of staff B team. Yeah, I thought, okay. I, I need a second. I need a second. If I don't do this, I'll get very mad at myself. This is therapeutic, just let me.
Okay, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I am fine, I am totally fine, totally fine, I, I'm so okay, I definitely didn't just run a B team for two years with no staff. That's not what happened. No, we, we were much, we gave that staff responsibility to somebody else to hire the B team coaches. That's what happened. We know that. That's what we thought we did. That's what happened, right? That's the reality we live in. That's the reason nobody on the B team is developing, right? Yeah, of course. We're so zen. I am so calm. That's so bad. That is such, that is such, oh my God, that's so bad. Oh, oh, that is so bad. Oh. You know how many people on average tune into a stream? Eight to 10,000 on average, just between like one stream to the next, right? But we never thought of that. I know this is my fault. I'm just saying, none of us? Probably because I, I thought it was on staff responsibility. Zero staff on the B team. I literally thought I gave the response. I I might have done it and not saved because like I'll come in sometimes uh, and just look around. And then when I exit, I just won't click save because I don't know what weird tactic thing I might have switched up. It might have been one of those times that that is that has happened one other time when I thought I was scouting somebody, but I wasn't because it was in one of those things where I came in and like exited and didn't save. Oh, it's all right. Get over it. Get over it, man. This is the world we live in. The B team has no. Oh, my God. The B team has no staff. Zilch. Zero. Absolutely none. I fucked my B team even more up. They won the second best tier of Spain and then they got relegated twice in a row after forehead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Christian said, but congrats to the three months. B teams in the fifth division, so I mean, saved my own save. Pwn's order is like a yeah, boss. I think I told you that one day, but uh, I took a nap. I'm sorry. Yeah, can I blame my assistant coach on this one? I feel like that's what I should do. Pedro Kiros, you are getting paid. Nothing to be a youth coach at Torrents. Do you want to be my B team coach? Hello? Oh my God. I literally can't. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Oh, he's happy with, okay, cool. So he has to be part time, but. <laughs> He's able to take the job, thank goodness. I forgot, it's because the fifth division's part-time, so. Oh, man. Oh, ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, dude. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, they is wet. There's no way. There's, there's simply no way that our B team coaching staff can get paid that much. He's actually not that far away. Wait, let me see if I can negotiate this. Oh my God. Uh, apparently their B team jobs are like, actually they're coded as really attractive in the game, you know? Which is nice. I'm glad that they're coded as really attractive in the game, right? Yeah, just get out the red cards. The red cards should be everywhere, honestly, for this. This is, uh, this is a catastrophic error. Kim Shun Suk was putting up 10.0s in training. Yeah, I was in the U19s, though. That's the trick. He was doing that in the U19s. When he moved to the B team, it wasn't as good. I, I cannot stress to you how unbelievably bad it is that we were in that position. We've kind of got some extra money right now, so if we want to build a good B team staff, with uh, paying out some compensation, then we will. All right. Somebody with good mental. No, really? Okay. Uh, technical. And tactical. Tactical. 
probably we better there better be somebody here on mental well that's because it's on 12 it should be on 11 thank you this person with the youth teams very very good at working with youth teams compensation why is the compensation so freaking beefy every time it's nuts dude pay out like hundred fifty thousand dollars in compensation for three coaches all right and we need a we need like fitness and such fitness coach goalkeeping coach i can't like i actually cannot believe that that is something that was just actively going on no really 16 oh this is kind of ugly low this is really ugly this is gross Oh my god. Am I have the right filter on? Oh good, I uh, finally started to find some people. I don't think I have the right filter on. What about coach? Yeah, there we go. Just nobody wants to be a semi-pro fitness coach, apparently. Right, this is going to come down to fitness even though we will they they will apply themselves as a fitness coach <laughs> I, I'm, I'm in shock i'm in shock is there somebody whose compensation is not just freaking preposterous thank you god gonna lose it you don't need a goalkeeping coach i'm gonna take that and then we need an assistant coach because that becomes part of the you know tactical knowledge determination motivating sorry chat i do this real quick obviously obviously gotta do this real quick don't even have like a herman rojas hey okay okay Okay, Herman, I see you. I, I see you, Herman. And watch, this job is so good, he'll probably take it anyways. He'll be like, oh, dude, what an opportunity to work with the Oriental Dragon B team. No, this is the first guy that's like, screw you and the horse you rode in on. What about Gonzalo Pereira? You another guy we were just objecting to? We don't even know how good you are. What am I doing? Oh, you're fantastic. Who am I kidding? I love you. Have my children, Gonzalo. Okay. So, B team staff may now have been handled. We need a physio. Okay. And that's it. We just need a we just need a physio down here. Wow. I'm egg on my face. Huh? I'm talking about. Oh, great! What a relief. Yeah. Kuba. Hi. How you doing? How long have I been at the club? He Shin's been around about a year and a half. What's up, boys? And Mombot, respectively. Nice. Uh, isn't the B team supposed to be the black hole in which players are sent to be forgotten? No, we're kind of using it as a bit of a reserve team as well now, so... We want it to be functional. It has to be functional to get promoted. It's kind of hard to get promoted. Not a freaking coach, though. Oh, this is just... Nobody wants to be my B team physio. How is there? My God, there's one. Ricardo de Graza. He's got 10 physiotherapy. I, uh, there's just, there's just certain things. B team head physio, dude. A B team head. He's going to take this job. No problem. Cause the team is very prestigious. For some reason, he just doesn't want to be there. We just didn't have like, that's so insane. Pedro, welcome. Ricardo de Graza, welcome to the club. You are the head physio of the BT. I'm in shock. I'm actually in shock. Mombot, what's up? Everybody, the Mombot emote. No, it's not. They're not in a playable league. They still play matches, and like the fact that they don't have a coaching staff really affects their development. Uh, no, I'm not going to pay for a B team chief scout. What's the point of that? I don't really understand that. They're not autonomous. I am the boss. Pod Parad Sid, thank you for the six months. Wow. Congratulations. 
Portuguese and I've never heard until I've never heard of Oriental Dragon until now. It's your loss, man. Lucas Barrera. He signed this guy. Oh yeah, this was an end of con. The, okay, so we're signing this guy end of contract uh, in January because it, his wage is literally eleven thousand dollars. If I get DMCA'd for that, I swear. Just because my home, my, my dude down there, right? Like bumping tunes while he goes by. And they're just going to be like, my God, was that Kanye? It wasn't. It wasn't Kanye. I know all Kanye songs by heart. Don't try me like that. Oh, you fool. No, I'm not selling Billy Herrera for $200,000. I don't want this guy, by the way. Call your mom to say thank you, dude. I will. Thank you for the $5 donation as well. Hello? Hey, uh, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Well, to what do I owe the pleasure? A hundred. Yeah. Yeah, there's a mom bot emote. How cool is that? I think it'd probably be a, a fitting time to, to to tell you as well. Thank you again. I uh, uh, is I got you one of those YouTube plaques. They asked if I wanted to get like another one. I got you one to, I don't know, put it wherever you want. You know me well. Thank you so much. That's awesome. I can't wait to get it. Good lord. Yeah. So it says uh, it says mom bot on it. So. No way. Really? Yeah, I got the I got the plaque to say mom bot. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. You're amazing. Oh, this community is amazing. I love it. I love it. I love you guys. Thank you for thank you for the 100 gifted subs. And uh here I normally do this, but can you say thanks to Greggy Lad for 8 months? Thanks Greggy Lad for 8 months. We love you. Well, I mean, she does. I'll get there someday. They I'll, I'll get there someday, Greg. <laughs> All right, uh, love you, mom. I'll um, love yeah, I'm all I'm all set with the graduation soon. stuff. By the way, you got the picture. Yeah, so. see you soon. Can't wait. All right, see. Bye. Mom bought with a hundred gifted subs. Oh, my heart, dude. My heart. So he said she sounds hot. My mom's gonna read that and be like, <laughs> hell yeah. God, that's not what my mom sounds like. Uber Melon, thank you for the five. That's the sort of thing I get a text from my mom after. I get a text from my mom after almost every stream, and she's like, did you see what this person said? That's going to be the one thing she talks about today. Like, did you see what this person said? <laughs> no, mother. I did not. Uh, can I change this offer? I made an offer 3.5 million for Daniel Elias. I honestly don't think we need this guy. I've, I've thought it over a couple of times. I want to take him off the transfer list or like whatever list I put him on. There's some weird the general manager thing. I'm on brain. We'll get there. My brain will get there eventually. There it is. See so like transfer targets. Um... I want to remove him from 
Honestly, as long as I still have final right, let's see if he can negotiate a deal, then we'll make the decision. Oh. All right, we can wait. We broke 2K! Can't believe I'm part of this elite online gaming. That's what Callum just said. Yes, there were 100 gifted subs. So if you did not have a sub, there is actually a significant statistical chance that you do now have a sub. So welcome to the hammers. Enjoy the bacon, the emotes. Get in the sub section of the Discord and just generally vibe with the emotes and stuff. Thank you for being around. Uh, and you have a month from today, courtesy of the Mamba. Enjoy that bacon. It's not a good statistical chance, but there is like a legitimate statistical chance instead of just getting really lucky. So, <clears throat> abstract view. Thank you for the tier one. Welcome to the hammers for the first time and George Steele for the second. Coming back with that Twitch Prime now. $10 of Jeff Bezos money. Yeah, baby. And Ruben Senpai with another gifted to Pod's plight. We have cleared, we cleared 2,000... Uh, but when I was like streaming every day, but this is a whole other level when we clear that like literally while I'm in school Bolo hash with a gifted as well. So many anime wows, dude. Body saw a jam with the twitch prime. Thank you Welcome to the hammers by now. What's the price zero dollars G It's a tough it's a tough decision. It's a really tough decision man. Zero dollars I think we gotta do it. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it, chap. I think zero dollars. Oh. oh I think we're gonna do it. There we go. Right into the B team. Man, you just you really nailed that dismount, Lucas. Woo! Christian Carbajal got called by Peru. That's fun. Mabasso's back with the Australian camp. Our Niger and Libyan players. Ever reliable selections for the national team. I, oh, Pereira got hurt. That's not fun. Okay, so we have a transfer budget of about three and a half million. Let's take a look through our short list and see if there's anybody that we would want to go out and sign. Uh, so the first thing we do is we activate, you know, transfer, even a doubtful transfer. We want everybody up here. Uh, we have Henrik Jacobson, who would definitely be too expensive, we think. We think he would be too expensive. He's also 6'5". Oh, God, this guy is an addiction. Pretty sure that's what Carrie Underwood was talking about. <sighs> you get a load of that guy. Can we pay and yeah, can we pay the zero in installments, dude? Oh, random hero, congrats on cooking your bacon. Thank you for the three months. What time is it in Z's time zone? It is 1.42 in the afternoon, my dudes. Just buy lots of portilla chips. Would you ever post edited versions of your Twitch saves on YouTube? Secondhand, we just, because you know, we have over 2,000 hammers, right? Uh, we, and because all you guys watch all the YouTube videos, those are essentially our only sources of income because I turned down most of the sponsorship stuff. Uh, we just hired two new editors, which is awesome. And they both work on the live channel on the streams. And so we're going to be doing a lot of innovation and uh, condensed streams and those sorts of things. Uh, over the next couple of weeks, you'll start to see that stuff come out for the first time, which is going to be fantastic. And uh, obviously going to want feedback from you guys uh, on that. So we have Reese, I all, uh, and now we've got two new guys. I'll wait to introduce you to. Age? I'm 25. Yeah. The exclamation points don't actually exist. I just answer you. <laughs> Congrats to Dortmund on the DFB Pokal. I did see that. Uh, I saw Dio Upamecano getting spanked like an impudent child by Erling Holland. <sighs> if only the Wonder Kids weren't attacking midfielders, I'd be all over them. Daniel Londonio. He's tall, he's very athletic, but he doesn't see the field well. He's intelligent. 
has good traits until he tries to play the way out of trouble, but you know, he's got a lot of traits. A lot of traits going with him. Predisposed to the Metsala position, which is something that just fits right into the team. A lot of money on that potential wage. Offense Swane. You're just not very good right now. Would need a lot of improvement for me to go, ooh. For me to actually make that noise. You know, and I like making that noise. It's usually very helpful. Got you, David. The other three editors are Reese, Reese, and Reese. Uh, <clears throat> so look up player Boca team's hot uh, prospect. Boca Juniors. Rodrigo Alvarez. He's 16. Hello. You thinking what I'm thinking? There's no way, right? There is absolutely no way we pull this off. I have 3.5 million. You want? It's really not that far. What am, I, what am I saying? Oh, that's not that far away. Are you kidding me? Of course it is. That's unbelievably far away. Hate math. It's not going to get cheaper, dude. You know, it's really all in the fact, like if we could move it over, we would have almost 4 million, which would be, you know, little uh, about three and a half ways there. So we'd, we'd basically be right there. Garrett. Wow! Garrett, thank you for the five gifted Reb Brown, Mr. Frogger, Barry, Madara Dad, Ash Bandicoot. Welcome to the hammers. Thank you, Barney, for the for the rack. Sheee. Sorry, that didn't have the right effect. What's this one? Wow. Got that 13 months. Amen, I listened brother. to your podcast today about the Super League, and I think your idea is very good, and that could maybe be a better reform of the structure there is at UEFA. Greetings from a Dane. Yay! I released the new episode of the Zealand podcast, and people aren't boycotting me actively for saying the Super League will happen eventually. Thank you, Fifth Mellow, for the 13 months. Uh, yeah, I know I've tried to really flesh that out, uh, and I think it worked. What do you study? I am a master student in broadcast and digital journalism. Francis, thank you for the gifted sub to Jacob. Hey! Yeah, Bruce, a mom bot dropped a 100 bomb because she saw the mom bot emote and was like, oh. no, there is a Zealand podcast. There's a Zealand podcast in 20 good minutes, which usually have at least weekly installments. Zealand podcast episode came out yesterday talking about the Super League. Um, reactions to that, reactions to the protests, those sorts of things. Awesome. You'll, you'll be canceled eventually for that podcast. Well, it's not, it's just, we're not, I'm not an edgelord. I never was an edgelord, you know? I'm, just, I'm not an edgelord. And there's also Armchair History, which is going to be restarted, essentially. I mean, we have the next episode scripted, but, like, we're really going to restart it uh, once school is, is done. It's just the one thing that wasn't able to fit in there, you know. That's literally a passion project. It has nothing to do with anything else that we do. Armchair History is just... Yeah, I love history. I love talking about history. I love explaining history to people that don't know history as intimately as I do because I've always spent like my whole you know my dad was a history major at Princeton for crying out loud like he read history textbooks to me when I was a little kid and I obviously love explaining things so <sighs> max wage demands three and a half million for Henrik Jacobson that is insane that is insane okay actual targets we have a solid actual target list. Uh, it includes Lamine Mendez, who, heaven help us all, I've been trying to figure out if... Uh, can we trial you? I'm literally just gonna offer a trial to all these people and be like, hey, uh, can we just like have a look at how good you are? I feel like I don't use trials for people that are in actual teams enough. 
some of them got accepted. Like most of them didn't, right? But some of them got accepted. And we can figure out whether we want to sign these guys like right now. You know? Lamine Mendez got accepted. Robinaldo said no, but we, we don't have to waste our time scouting these guys, you know? It's a bit of a revelation when you realize that you can do that. The first history podcast was so therapeutic. Uh, oh, uh, will ODFC confirm a signing on deadline day? Sixer boy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Thanks for spending five dollars of Jeff Bezos money to get into the hammers. I appreciate it. Enjoy the bacon, the emotes, and everything fancy in between. You know, what got you into FM, my friend? I played a lot of FIFA career mode and just beat the bejesus out of it every year you know like winning the champions league five years after starting with a Serie b team and after a while of that you're just like you know i need uh a million thank you for the suggestion by the way it's like i needed a new challenge and he was like you know there's this game that's kind of popular in europe that's about this sort of thing and i was like oh okay um you know do you happen to have any more information we bought it i didn't touch it for like a year after we bought it but then eventually we just kind of we i you know we just started playing it you get more and more comfortable with the game over time that's why the youtube channel started out the way it did is there needs to be an on-ramp for this game because once you get going it's so awesome but it took me a long time to get going oh there's loan loan intentions for angel call I don't really want to loan him. Uh, I feel like it might be worthy. Uh, if we can get a top flight offer, if we can get like Estoril Praia, but not Estoril Praia because they got relegated, but like another top flight offer, I feel like that'd be pretty sick. Ricardo Gonzalez also does need a loan. Thank you for making an offer so that we thought about Ricardo because he's no longer the backup keeper. Facundo Farias contract offer from Legia. Dostislav Ganov. It's another Bulgarian team, right? Yeah, okay. That's not terrible. He's not for sale at any price. Well, he did request a transfer, didn't he? Last time I checked, genius. Yeah, stop. We, we're not signing this guy. We can't sign him. Yay! Jason Sweeney got called up by Ireland. Yeah! Was that, did you really need to just tell me that DC United in particular was like, nah, f on hell. Absolutely not. That was how I got into the game. Just slowly over time going deeper into a save than before. Oh my God, it's like all MLS teams. I, I want the one, let's see what kind of offers we can get. I want Rio Ave because we want him to be a homegrown player. Like if he does kick on, gets a little more athletic, he's definitely a workable player. He's a little too unathletic to be relied upon. Dadashov is actually not good enough. Find that kind of hard to believe. He's a really solid player. Type of guy that could probably make every team. Get another report on him. Oh, oh, oh slow down, Sailor. Don't be all MLS teams. Oh, well, they want him as a, as a squad player. How about, look, I'll pay the money, just regular starter. Okay, cool. Unhill call, regular starter. Yes. No, no. I don't want him going to the MLS. He's got to stay in Portugal. Scouting reports. Okay, Pedro, what's up? Flexi Carlos, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Make sure you submit your spot in the hammers by joining that subsection of the Discord. So Uh, damn, we finally made it to Matovu, and by the time we made it there, he just makes no sense. Bastian Bayadares. I don't think I'm ever going to need a striker ever again. We've got so many talented strikers coming into the club, around the club. I'm never going to need another striker again. We just found a 15-year-old. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Fifteen. 
Okay, boss. 15. Is he excited for the NHL playoffs? I think my Panthers have a great shot at beating your Bolts. Well, obvious, dear. So for those that don't know, I'm a hockey fan, of course, from Tampa Bay in Florida. We've got a really good hockey team, Tampa Bay Lightning. They can ball until the next striker appears. That's true. But that striker was not good enough to just uh, to jive me away. Uh, look, the Panthers won the last two games. We played the Panthers last two games. Panthers won both of them, so that obviously... But we're getting, like, everybody's back and healthy for the playoffs now. The, you're going to get a full-strength Lightning team this time around, and we'll see if that makes much of a difference. Right? Should I sign Boongard? It's time to make a decision on some of these loan guys. We're either going to sign them or we're not. Sare, Shajong, Melgar, Anel Zamudio. UCL final with Shtada Rene the other night, five years in. Suited up and streamed it for my mates. Beat Liverpool two goals to one. Let's go. Nice, dude. Well done. Congratulations on your victory. Gorbani's transfer delayed due to a war. Look, no. Look, you want Billy Herrera, we'll set an asking price. That asking price for Billy Herrera is four million. Okay, you guys are nowhere in the ballpark on Billy Herrera. Joe, he says the passing is not beneficial. Is it though? Is it really not beneficial? I don't get it. Silva is very rarely pleased with what we're doing in training. That we know. Very rarely pleased. Tom, congratulations on your victory. Thank you for the five dollars. Suiting it up, suiting up and streaming it for the mates. So that's that's the way of the future, I think. Use the space in the team for trials. Claude Hubert. Togolese International B team stacked out of its mind. I think we, how many players are on our B team now? I think I, if, it's getting, if it gets to like 30, then I would say we have an issue. 42. Okay, worst players. Who are the worst players? Moises stays, shut up. Daniel Souza, are you too old? Just go to the U23s then. Uh, Wei Shibo goes to the U23s. Um, is there really 40 players? Oh, I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six that are out on loan. So, like, you know, it's really 40 players. Now it's 40. Now it'll be 39, in which case it'll be 34. I think that's some we can live with. 34 players in the B team is, uh, well, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of players, dude. Nobody wants Elder Mendez. This poor guy. Poor guy, man. Somebody want Tete Zakari on loan? Okay. You want Richard Tete Zakari on loan? We'll give them to you. Anybody else that's got people interested in him? No, don't handle the B team contract extensions, you ogre. No. Uh, pff, finalizing signings for the B team. That's me. Pones order. What are you doing? No, don't sell players off the B team. Goodness me, man. I handle B team business, okay? I stack the B team with everybody that needs to be there. Claude Hubert should probably be down there. He's actually, why can't he? It's not officially on the team or something. Handled a bit of that. Needed to move a few people around. Fringe player, cool. Uh, Go be a fringe player in the third division. 
Need to kind of just get you off the off the B team, man. You're not going to play there. My bad. 40 players without a coach for two years. Well, when you put it like that, it, it doesn't, you know. Uh, Foden is in the top 10 players in the world in my book. He's not. He can be. He probably will be. He's not right now. I don't think he's, no. Now, I think he's closer than a lot of people that go, whoa! Hey, come on. 10 players better than Foden. Uh, Messi, Ronaldo, right? Uh, I don't know why I'm thinking of it now, but Oblak, Van Dyke uh, is definitely better. Sergio Ramos, obviously definitely better. I think Kareem Benzema is obviously better. Uh, I think wherever Arjen Robin, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> like, uh, you know, so that's six, like right there. I, uh, this is just me having a complete mental shutdown where like my entire brain is just off. Um, Mbappe, Neymar, Lewandowski, probably still Modric, right? And we haven't even kind of gotten rolling yet. Uh, like Bruno Fernandez is better than Foden. Uh, Foden will probably be better than Bruno in long term because Foden can dribble a lot better. You know, he's like more majestic running with the ball, but still. Um, yeah. <sighs> Kane. I mean, this isn't what we were actually, I'm just saying that like top 10 is a very hard threshold to clear. I think he is kind of close to it. I don't think he's super far away from it. Did I say De Bruyne? I probably said De Bruyne. But everybody, the way two people are gassing up Ruben Diaz recently, honestly, he's probably, he may be out of phone. Huh? Would you give that to him? Pogba, probably. In terms of talent, definitely. Lukaku's been tearing it up at Inter. Right. Zlatan, of course. Right. <laughs> Zlatan, you know. Bruno isn't a dribbler. I'm just saying I think Foden will be able to do everything Bruno will be able to. Like, long term. Right now, I'd rather have Bruno. I'm just saying. Honestly, Mahrez has been shredding this year, so I, I, I might give you Riyad. That's really close to me, though. I feel like I have Foden and Riyad Mahrez kind of in the same bin. No. Marcio Diogo. When in the world would I ever sign you, man? And I mean that with the full insult. Oh my God, Barrientos, keep it going, baby. Come on, son. Billy Herrera does need to get faster, you know? He does need to get faster. Billy Herrera loves me also. Billy, Her Billy and I have a love affair. You know, I'm not I'm not ashamed to say it. Hey, you guys are getting coaches now. Maybe the reason their ratings have been so bad for so long is because they don't have any coaches. That checks out. That does that does check out. Yeah. Yeah, we made a lot of senior players available for the under 23s, but we should also have some players there that are, you know, actually just, just players, just hanging around. Maybe a guy like Elder Mendez should definitely be on the U23s. All need a transfer, never mind. Use your brain. Hak Chong Il? Or uh, how about Get In Yi Bin? Oh, he wouldn't make the, uh, make the field anyways. Bobby Gordon. Canadian Bobby Gordon. Eh. The crucible of training in the B team. It's a savage environment. Carson starting for City. It's, I mean, once you win the league, you got an opportunity to give some people some Premier League appearances. Does anyone else find themselves drawn to players they used in previous saves? Oh, of course. Yeah, every time I see a player that I used in a previous save, we go, oh, look at that guy! Or a little less enthusiastic, you can go with the, like, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio kind of meme, like. 
I, need, I, I poured a water for myself and forgot to bring it into this room. Water! Accio water! Ah! Alright. That's the rest of the coaching staff right there. Brian Berga. It's kind of a he's a foxy player. Foxy player. No offers for Tete Zakaria. Okay, well, I mean, what loan deal would you want? Give him first team playing time. He's all yours. All right, out of pocket. Oh, my goodness, Christian. Is this, a, is this potential actually that good? Obviously, it is. This dude's just been... What kind of negotiation is that? You will pay 850000 for Christian Pacheco. take it even if the fact that he hasn't had an opportunity to develop right because we haven't had coaches on the b team i think we got to take this this is one of those guys we just snapped on a free sent on a loan he played okay in the portuguese third division lap you know what we loaned him out last year and this guy didn't develop at all you'd bet your bottom dollar i'm taking that eight hundred fifty thousand dollar transfer that you just offered me jeez of course I'm taking that. All right, um, contracts. Other way, well, it's gotta be this way so that we can see the trialists. Okay. Out of all of these trialists, who we who, who we actually looking at signing? Are we looking at Kinu Capito? No, we're not. You guys got no pace. Get out of my face. All right, are we looking at Kinu Capito? No. Uh, are we looking at Tiago Martins? I think we already nixed that guy. Kolasinic, I think we we're considering. And then we have, like, the young guys, right, that are on trial, but they also are at clubs. Like, he's playing at Busan. So curious about how good Lamine Mendez could be. If he's got actual five-star potential, according to Pone's order, then I'm in. That's what I needed to see. Seems like accurate palace transfer activity. Whew. What's his potential? It was rated at five star, uh, but he's been on the team for a year and a half and has shown no significant improvement, so. So these are all other trialists, which means, you know, which one of these guys do we want to sign? We have Facundo Farias, who He's got an actual first step, unlike Bundgaard, who who doesn't. Bundgaard has no first step. Philip Bundgaard. All right, his first time shots, long range passes, plays one twos and moves into channel. He's a movement nightmare. He works hard. He's just not a super fast guy uh, when it comes to signing players do you sign players that don't fit into the core squad yeah that doesn't that's not something that bothers me as long as you win that take care that's taking care of itself and like i i never plan on not winning <sighs> can we have access to the hall of saints google doc i'll just pull it up this is every single person in the hall of saints we started it during the dortmund save Obviously. He actually he he was a, a post whatever the name whatever the word is. Uh 
Posthumous. Thank you. He was a posthumous nominee from an earlier save. That's the appropriate order. I just can't. I don't want to. I, I just can't. I'm sorry, Sid. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. There's not like I just can't. I can't. I can't be a part of this, man. Tries killer balls and plays one twos. I really like Gab uh, Gabri Vega, honestly. Out of all of these guys, Gabri Vega is maybe the most fun to me. Big concern on him is the lack of stamina. Certainly a much more capable defensive presence as a midfielder, and the plays one twos is great. You see, uh, just a couple pieces. And the other guy that we're considering outside of those three is Ryan Gold. He's got a lot more of that Metsala nonsense in him, but I think it's time we knock that off. So it's Farius, Vega, Boongard. Farius is currently negotiating a contract with Warsaw. We don't even know if we'd be able to sign him. How do you get in the Hall of Saints? Uh, you have to just be a brilliant player. How long you be online? Dude, a long time today. I've had to cut a couple of streams short this week, so I'm looking forward to just hanging out, playing a long time. I was saying Metsala nonsense endearingly, Klindgren. Oh yeah, Farius and Boongard wanted a lot of money. We have already tried to negotiate that offer. How much would... Uh, Gabi Fiega one. See, if he takes something like that, then I can get behind it. But he won't. Like, the, those three guys will just stay on trial and train with us because I want their wage demands to go down. But I don't think they're going to go down in time for this transfer window, so... Not a lot we can do there. Which means, do we have any other transfer interests? We've got three million burning a hole. Right, we have this three million dollar transfer budget all of a sudden because we made this big sale and now that we're looking around I don't know if we have somebody to spend it on in which case you just got to be patient you know uh, you just got to you got to be really patient I think a lot of it's going to depend on Lamine and if he's good enough um, somebody like maybe Gift Timbo really capable Zambian player at the Cobway Warriors in the Zambian League Concerned by the fact that he hasn't appeared for the national team yet because they'll usually know something that I don't Does he want to Transfer why did he turn down the trial? Honestly, he's what 40,000 here Come on really There you go. $30,000 up front to pick up a guy that's got really sky-high potential. He's super young. I, I don't see a problem with taking a flyer on him. Fredo Munoz, who turned 18 just a couple of months ago. Three to be exact. This could look good. Oh, wait. Stacy, dude. No. F I didn't get the ping or the notification. Stacy! Hour 10 minutes hadn't dropped the frame, dude. Yeah, obviously it's better now. Just a little wobble. Good. Okay. As long as it's just a little wobble, as long as we didn't like zero out or anything. We can survive little wobbles. It looks like it's wobbling again, so we're gonna. 
Take the hint, go with a lower bit rate, live a good life. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. We don't need HD. You don't need to see me in HD anyways. The vibes were immaculate, chat. The vibes were immaculate. We were loving it. It was Friday. We were having a good time. And then, you know, Stacy gives fires up that freaking blender again. No, 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 Stacy just showed up and uh, it's not zeroing out. It's just like lowering the bit rate from wherever we have. We have it set. And then it goes back to being remarkably stable. good are we good thank you okay Ch chill over there talking to you bitrate monitor chill okay okay we're fine now i i we're, we're yeah we're all right do i want to sign this guy He just turned 18. There's no transfer interest uh, beside that, though. That was at the time of scouting. You know, it could be different. And Saad Abdul Amir Jassim, who wants actual money, which is really unfortunate. Fun player, man. Really fun player, but that adaptability and that wage, there's just no way he's ever really, really a success. Alfredo Munoz, they don't want to sell him. We'll make an inquiry anyways. I think he might be the guy on our target list that's like the player to go for. Hello, Robin Aldo. Oh, you want to be a fringe player right now? No, I don't think that's going to happen, man. How? Okay, fine. How could he possibly get mad being a fringe player? This guy will find a way. If you're 17 and you're this untalented compared to the rest of my team, there is no way. There is absolutely no way. He will find a way to get mad. I'll make him a fringe player and send him to the B team and he's going to be like, ah! My eyes! Jerry Voss, good thing we scouted him one extra percent from the last time I looked. He's up at the top of our priority list, right? He's got to be up at the top of our priority list. He has to be. He is. We're just, we're riding a struggle bus, you know, one person at a time. Stuff. Want more scouts, please. 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 Why can I not ask to improve my youth facilities again? I was able to ask right away after the last one. And honestly, I expect that kind of promptness in everything I do. He's free uh, $41,000 fee for this 19 year old Zambian player who is in the go ahead Eagles reserves. Essentially an out and out left winger who is likely not a tremendously talented player. So we are going to... He's from Zambia, you idiot. It's obviously not worth it. You only are doing this because he's from Zambia. We need to be honest with ourselves. I've been saying like, uh, saving like a good boy and got to 50K, name a staff, but sold out. Um, I all, can we unlock the name a staff member, please? We do have a staff member who is nameable.
We're waiting on the reply to our inquiry on this Colombian wing. You look a baller. B-team staff signings were prompt. Thank you, I thought so myself. Signed the Zambian. He's from Zambia. I didn't think that's how that worked. It's been my bad. Oh, goodness, the agility. Oh, the devastating change of direction. When's your birthday? Matters. Sounds like a weird question to ask, but it matters. I all just requested a name. Fun fact, people from Wexford are called Wexicans. Cool. <laughs> Patty Blue Eyes, thank you for the five months as part of the hammers. <sighs> nice. Cool. Cool. guys under contract for a long time too no fun ignacio schiavi it's a nice big physical presence in central midfield Boop your nose, please. traumatic man oh thank you for the four months comrade waffle appreciate it oh man manuel veron no brian berga i don't know Berga's just not a name that really convinces me brian it's not especially when you're playing for locomotive moscow shojong with the 10.0 in the u23s say look at me boss i want playing time me over here, boss. Playing time, please. Woo! Why is that so addicting to say? That is just so fun to say. Oh, we don't need to scout him. We just need to throw money into contract list, man. His contract's going to run out at some point. Right? Isn't that always true? The contract's going to run out at some point. All right, buddy. All right, all right, all right. Then Nicholas Velasquez, you're low rated because you're not actually good. Max Bayer's low rated because he's getting paid more than anybody on my team times two. And he wouldn't actually add a lot of quality to my team. Two different reasons. Two different reasons. Because we live in a society. It's insightful as I'll get out. <sighs> Closing in on that deadline day. Anybody else you guys think we need to sell? Anybody else you guys think we need to sell it all? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, all right, all right, everybody. All right, everybody. Whoa, mama. Um, get rid of the minimum legals. All right, that's the deal that we would be able to get on Alfredo Munoz. I'm going to need serious input on this. He's volatile. <sighs> I actually don't remember exactly what that indicates, so it's time to go to the chart. It's 
this thing, right? Well, like, not this, but, like, they made, like, the, uh, for media handling, it's somewhere in here. I can never remember the media handling stuff. This is so old, too. They haven't updated it in years, but I still go back to it sometimes. There's the... Player personalities, but should have the media handling in it. Oh, is it, it's like one one of the other pages. All right. Media handling. What is involatile? Dismal to poor. It doesn't. Okay. I was just making sure it didn't tell us anything else except his temperament. <laughs> yeah, I was like trying to get Yossi. No, we didn't sell Thompson. That offer was a was a fleeting passerby, unfortunately. Did you go three straight seasons into League of Osh? Just started my save with Dragons, and now I'm in League of Pro after two years. Uh, no, I failed to get... So we went from the Nasty and out of the third division, failed to get promoted, then we got promoted from the... Then we won the third and the second consecutively. No, the Google Doc table's for personalities, not uh, media handling. Obviously, I'd go to the Google Doc table if that's what I was looking for, but not. And he argues with officials. Yeah, this dude is a huge prick, honestly. Doesn't have the game intelligence to play inside, but he's got the athleticism and the passing to be a really interesting type of player on the outside. Uh, especially a type of player that we're looking at with just fantastic... Uh, Fantastic, but let's let's see if he would negotiate. I think that's the next question we have to answer because he wasn't interested. Yeah, he's not interested. He only just signed a new contract, so this is not a deal we can do right now. Anyways, we will obviously keep an eye on Alfredo Munoz, but that is that. Hilta Brandt, thank you for the Twitch Prime, and welcome to an elite online gaming Do we win the second straight away? Yes. So we got promoted straight from the third to the first. We won this third division and then we won the second division and then we finished 11th in our first league in our season. Uh, we finished 11th, then fifth, then sixth. Now we played two ma three matches, won two of them and drawn one of them. Hyperality, welcome to the hammers. <whistles> yeah, the, the popo was just sipping by my apartment. Uh, Philip Boongard, would you be interested in sticking around until January? You're welcome to. Orientos just got the Columbia call up. Huge, huge for his brand. He's going to be selling soap in no time. Daniel Potence. Oh man, he's making a lot of money for a guy that's going to deteriorate. Oh my. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. We know nothing yet about Malik Al Rawabade. Rawabde. Balik al Rawabde. Jordanian winger is fast. He's passed the first test. He got himself another scout. He got himself another scout. I'm sure he's very excited about it. That's what he was always. That's what he was out here grinding for. Grinding for. Of course, of course, City's rotating a little bit, by the way. You're literally the only reason I know anything about this game, and for that, my sub. Hyperality, I appreciate it. You're now also surrounded by hammers and bacon in the chat, and friends around. Ruben Senpai, third gift and sub of the stream. Cuddly Kaiju, welcome to the hammers. Love to see it. Podence is younger than you thought, because we're seven years in the future, and Podence is 31, so... This guy's is a bit strange, right? Great ball control, either footed. Really smooth game, right? He looks good out there, incredibly consistent. Just turned 18. But there's a lot of things not to like as well. I'll say Moya. 
hardworking Chilean league player at O'Higgins. I just feel like a lot, a lot of the Chileans, that's just kind of what they do. Oh, that Marco Lewis was the guy. Okay, uh, Lautaro Pum Pumpito. Sure, whatever you say, man. Intriguing skill set farther up the field, that's for sure. Noriega, Rafferty, they're all alone. Oh, Matus Leonard, no. Don't like that. A lot of money for that guy. 11 million from Pumas. They need somebody... Huh. They need actual people that they should spend money on. They need to find somebody they want to spend money on. It's ridiculous. Dr. Clumber! Welcome to the Hammers. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Looking good. Looking good. Yeah, well, we turned down Gary Voss. Now he's going to go to door trick. That's fine. Gorbani, ladies and gentlemen. We thank him for his season of work. He scored some memorable goals for us. Hey, Zeto Paul is well. Just sent you a DM on Twitter of a game versus real I just played in the CL. Hopefully it went well, Tender Steak. Thank you for the three months and congrats on reaching the TTS. So thank you. Ali Reza Gorbani's official numbers from his one season with Oriental Dragon after signing for $77,000. He played 23 league matches, scored four goals, registered four assists, played five cup matches with two goals and an assist, and played 10 matches in continental competition with two goals uh, and one assist. But big wage, time to move him on. The board agreed that 225000 that will be added to the transfer budget. Uh, since when do we have a retention rate that is not 68%? Why is it 30? I make you so much money that you take away from me? That which makes me mine? Now who knows what the future holds? Well, screw you, man! Screw you! He is headed to Ipswich. Eighteen year old Joe Connor scouting Kim Jun Yong. It's already on my shortlist, man. Serrano. Oh, he's actually... It's a good thing we didn't sign this guy. He's actually not going to get any better. He stays in the shortlist because we'd sign him if he was free, but it is a very good thing that we did not sign him. Uh, Federico Anshin. Sure. A lot of sorting as we get down to the deadline here. We want to go Dylan Castro. That's basically the other option. Will you check uh, how some of the players are doing now? Like some of the old uh, old players? Maybe, yeah. Quite possibly. Brick Hickey, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Stefan can't even start when Man City rests their players. Kind of surprised that they're not starting him, honestly, but still. Ended 8-1 in my favor. Sheesh. Bunch of Gladbach have Ty and Iranian Wonder Kids. Be nice. Man can dream, right? Citadel Grrrr, my two month anniversary, I'm tearing up. I honestly, I go through my activity feed on stream every night and I just start to cry. All right, so we've got, a, we've got two staff members. We've got Sea King. All right, so Sea King who? Who do you want? What staff position will Sea King be inhabiting on this illustrious team? We got hurt. Oh, it was Dylan, right? That's why I didn't care. 
Damian Kozar, my goodness, we turned that around fast. Wish my other scouts worked that quickly. Thank you, John Doyle. U13 assistant coach. Nice. Dealer's choice, okay. But we do have our... We've got to go name the B team head coach right now, Isle. Because our B team head coach for some reason is Isle. I, can we not like pull it up? Let's pop it out. There it is. If we pop it out, then we should be able to see the staff. There we go. Pedro Kiros is I all. B team coach. Now, if we go to our actual staff, and there are not a lot of coaches whose names have not already been claimed. But there is a performance analyst named Salvador Granados that will forever be known as Sea King. Welcome. Welcome to the staff, Sea King. Congratulations. Wow. A performance analyst. Helping us break down training, provide... Really, you never provide us bad information. I don't think I've ever gotten mad at a performance analyst before. Because all they do is go, this guy's training really well. And you go, cool. You're crunching numbers. You're breaking down our performance. Uh, you were in 2017. Why are Ronaldo and Messi not in your backroom staff? Uh, well, 2017, they were playing pretty well, Citadel. So, who you already signed, says Macabo. Have we clinched to signing this stream? I actually don't know. We might not have. We've been weighing our options pretty aggressively. But I don't know if we've actually signed it. Ooh, my God. Oh, yeah, we signed two guys. Neither of them are like immediate first teamers. Caffeinated happiness with the 10 gifted to Shuckington. Oh, Shuckington. The FMJ Ramdog Kimru, RNR Frange, Matthews Wagon Swagon, Mr. D plays stuff in Red State. Welcome to the Hammers. Caffeinated happiness with the 10 gifted subs. Go frogs with the Twitch Prime bacon everywhere. What do you, what do you think of this guy? Virgilio Freitas. He's fairly sporting. He's, he's level headed, an indication of. His sportsmanship, unfortunately, we know nothing about any of his other hidden attributes, but... Well, he's about to turn 19. He's got a long way to go. I, I, he's not a type of guy I want to move on right now. Ben Kendall, actually a pretty sweet pickup from Canada. <laughs> this dude joins us next summer. One of those signings we just made on a flyer, and he actually turned out to be pretty good. Uh, Mauricio Herrera. Say defensive midfielder with some concerns, but some positives, and that's how you end up on the shortlist. All right, guys, it's deadline day. Uh, it is deadline day. We need to, if we are going to do anything on this transfer window, which we've been we've been poking around, making maybe a couple more moves. This is now the time. Deportes to Lima. Oh, God, I thought he had 17 to 20 pace. I was about to backflip out of this chair and start tap dancing down the hallway. My neighbors are really tired of me doing that, though, so it would have gotten me in some trouble. I'm kind of glad he doesn't have the pace, to be honest. A uh, lot of Colombians, and then Nuno Lima, who is the Portuguese center back with the best dribbling you may have ever seen. I mean, look at that. Two. That is double. One. That's literally double the worst. So. I mean, it's just huge. It's just, it's massive. This man runs with the ball and it's Velcroed to his foot. You know, he can, he puts it across. He's really, he's lethal on set pieces. Uh, he's absolutely lethal on set pieces. So, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. No, I, 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 I'm the type, 
I'm always cautioning not to spend all your money now anyways. That's always my thing. But I just... It's such a big year for us. You want to make sure that you don't miss anything. You know, you want to make sure that you don't miss anything and that you have a good understanding of kind of who's around. I, I think a really important thing... I want Lamine Mendez, man. It's just rare that you get kind of a complete wingback like this. All I do is get him and work on his defensive positioning, but he's also professional. I mean, I'm really, really into it. And it's gonna, it's gonna be steep. Relative, oh my God. The hell do you think you are, you second division sack of what is that? There's no way. And on top of that, they add this guy. Most random guy on my team to just be like, eh, throw in Francois Xavier Garon. No. Why? Sure. Oh my God. 28 man. I can't get 28 million for anybody. Oh, who the, what the, what? Dude, that's not where it said three to six million when we were negotiating. Like when my scout got back to me, it said three to six million for the player. Um, difference between the two clubs on Daniel Elias was too pronounced. That is nuts. Twenty eight million. There was second division team. Second division it means he's clearly nuts, though. There's no way they're pricing him like that unless he's insane. I mean, he's a brilliant 17 year old, but we're priced out so hard there. We ever get on hell call? Yeah, we got on hell call loaned out, right? We accepted the deal and he'll just agree to it today. Something like that. I can't get over, I can't even get 10 million for a player and I'm a top 10 team in Portugal. Yeah, checking possible superstar price here. Jeez, man. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, we'll handle registration when we get there. We know, yeah, okay, there's the loan deal. Uh, we signed Robin Aldo for $30,000, which I think is worth it considering his very high potential. We get a regular starter contract to go to Rio Ave for Angel Call. Victor Navarro for just 18000 I think we just take this. We great job scouting. I've overburdened my scouting team so much, but 23, this salary is high though. This is literally just, this, this is literally just about to be gambling. What I'm about to do here. Kundo Farias, congratulations on your new contract. Billy Her dude, no, that's not, you know what my asking price is on this guy? 3.5 memes. Francois Xavier Garon. They really want him. He's not good at all. But I'll tell you what, you give me that 90. Yeah, you, know, you give me that 90,000. Um, Porto Menens throwing 920,000 down on the table over the next year. 20 league appearances for another 350. 30% uh, profit. They're clear. Okay, they're panicking. I think we can get, uh, I think we can get like a cool mill. I think they're they're going in on deadline day now. I think we can make a move. We can get a little more money out of this. They're clearly very interested in him. I have a real problem with this consistency issue. It's center back. I have a real problem with that. I think we're gonna we're, we're gonna not keep him on the list. You're into contracts. Pedro's fine. Khalid Abdin's ready for the next challenge. Alrighty. You think Khalid Abdin's ready to rock and roll? I don't. I want to see him stay on the new 23s a little longer. We're not sure how the development stuff is going to go down there. 
We are not sure how the development stuff's gonna go. Okay, this is a gamble. This is literally just gambling, chat. That's all we're about to do. This is just gambling. $97,000 a year for a couple years. He's 20 years old. He's in the Panamanian national team, right? Could be great, could suck. And anything in between. He's been shredding the Panamanian league. Is there value in this? Is there value in this? The Grand Bourguignon football land pin and wonderland phenomenon video land canon Zealand Shannon. That sounds like my new intro. I gotta be honest. Center back so that consistory is like cheating when married. It's just not right, man. Maybe he'll fail a physical. Uh, it's not a bad one. Hate the physical thing, though. Could increase your revenue in Panama. I like this guy. You want a job in marketing? Do you already have enough forwards? Look, all I'm saying is he could literally have one off the ball. I all. <sighs> oh, the channel to success. Paul, should we sign Nick Victor Navarro? It's at the top of the chat. I voted no, but there's a very clear public leaning. Maybe you just want to see me fail, you know? I voted no, but... I like the nine people that just voted, I don't know. Really love that. Chat's strongly in favor, though. Chat is strongly in favor of bringing in... I mean, he's star for the Panamanian national team. He might be the youngest guy on the freaking team. It's not up there right now. 13 months WTF. My gold is extra goldy. My gold is extra goldy. Nice. That dude's played 140 professional matches at 20 years old. That is insane. 13 months. Oh, Cap, that's beautiful. Thank you for the 13. Thank you for being a part of an elite online gaming. And you can do it with me now. Come here. Well, it's true. There's channel points riding on this. It can't be fair. Sorry. Okay, so the democracy element, I don't have to sign him because there are channel points riding on this, so it's definitely weighted. You're all betting with your own gambling interest in mind. Well, I mean, part of the deal is we'd have to arrange it friendly. a one-to-one -one match to goal ratio they've played one match genius genius this sounds if he was younger i feel like i would wait since he's older i feel like it's really a now or never we could wait try and scout him up make a move in january right it's not likely that anybody would be scouting panama and central america in general as aggressively with we as we are with the the willingness to take chances on guys like this but thoughts on yesterday's man united liverpool 
Good thing United has the excuse to play in so many matches so quickly. So he's in comparison. What the hell is a comparison going to do, dude? What is a comparison going to do? using little context clues like the amount of money he asked for and stuff to tell myself that he's good. I honestly have never proven these context clues that I just used it. That's Robin Aldo. We already knew about Robin Aldo. He goes straight to the U19s. Robin Aldo is just the guy we signed, and then in three years, we're like, so did he ever get better? Or like, yeah, I'll make, I'll, we, we wait though. I'll make, I'll make y'all wait for this one. We're going to quick this. Uh, Angel Call signs his loan deal. He's headed to Rio Ave as a first team player. He's better current ability and lower potential ability than I thought. Right, okay. Okay. That's good. This dude's kind of got some game, right? That's good off the ball. He's an intelligent player. He's certainly not brave, but he has great touch. That is, that's, he's good. He's definitely good. He's technically proficient, right? He needs to work on, uh, he needs to work on, like, obviously he could be more athletic. He's not, he, he's not unathletic or athletic. He's kind of right in the middle. Uh, his dribbling is a bit of a concern, but he's really an off-ball player. I think that... <clears throat> yeah, he's a pure advanced forward. He didn't fail a physical, obviously. Oh, no, no, no. We're not sending him to the B team. Sorry. Uh, senior team. Um, wow, that was pretty sweet. He totally could have flopped. He definitely needs to learn to work harder. Uh, I think improving his work rate is going to be a very important part of this. But the things that he is good at in here, like decision and composure, if I had to pick two things from the entire top half of the mental, those are the two things I would pick to be good, right? And the third one, anticipation, is his next worst, which means like it's still not bad. Obviously, he's just going to be a, a forward, but... I think that maybe being around the team is going to help him out too. He's the volatile guy, right? I just accidentally sent him on a leadership course or asked to. God, you just... It's going to be such a good leader. <laughs> cool. Oh, awesome. Love that for us. I love that for us. Love that for us. Love the fact that I just accidentally sent him on a leadership course. That's great. He's really, he's, he's really kind of good. He's so much better at the moment than I thought he was going to be. I was hoping for higher potential, but he's so much better at the moment than I thought he was going to be. Like right now, he's good. And that's just a beautiful thing, you know. Like, you know, I'm sending you to the B team, dang it, Sam. You're just disappointing me, and our B team needs a little help, and I want to get your disappointment out of my face. Anyone want Portilla? Now I feel even more comfortable about this. No, 1.6 million. Did, we already had this conversation. I didn't think I had to worry about this. He talked you out. Okay, cool. Uh, Your client's preferred destination will be leaving. Well, we're not going to do that, so... 
Anybody interested at 3.8, perhaps? Thank goodness our captain is an absolute god. He's not going to become insane, but he is actually decent. We can't loan Valdir, he's hurt. Which leads me to believe we should move somebody. Um, David Thompson. Oh, no, 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 no. Just give me one million. Straight up for Thompson. Somebody still, they're still interested? Yeah. Portemonnaies really want David Thompson. Francois Xavier Guerrero. 60,000 is okay. Cool. Pacheco's headed to Crystal Palace for 850,000. Um, uh, you weren't my first team plan, so it's a great chance for you to get regular playing time. Is it going to Crystal Palace? I agree. But you're welcome for the transfer, Christian. Have a great career. Uh, what's up? Gonzale, Ricardo Gonzalez and David Thompson will not be registered. Surely you'll be looking to move them. Um, hopefully we'll have something to announce soon. We are looking into destinations. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Ricardo Gonzalez. Anybody interested in like a transfer deal for Ricardo? If we can't loan him, maybe. I am always shocked by the lack of interest in this man. I, I don't know why there aren't more clubs clamoring for Michael Portilla. We have Valdir, we've got Navarro who's hurt, Pereira, and we've Yossi Gindi. Ah. Oh. Everybody hates passing. Like, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to work on that either. Ew. Passing, ew. So gross. Ah. Oh. Portia's the one that makes sense to move. Valdir's got the sky-high potential, right? Yossi Gendi's the cover right now. Navarro's the deep cover right now. Portia's the one that makes sense to move, and nobody wants him. He won the freaking Global Next Gen Award, and nobody wants him. Transfer list him like Polito. Oh, he can try it for a day. He doesn't feel forced out of the club right now. He's open to speaking to other clubs. He would prefer to stay here. Let's... I mean, we'll literally just keep him on it on September 1st if he hasn't gotten any offers. Like, if I... Six, seven million, he's out the door. Six, seven million, he's out the door. I really never tried this type of negotiation that I'm having with Portimonense over Thompson right now. I'm guessing they're not going to take this offer. Antosh is a beast. The Antosh was great for us. Great. I can't believe we just got 850,000 for Christian Pacheco from Crystal Palace. What the hell is their scout telling him? Like, dude, you should have seen him in the Portuguese third division. That's 6.8 rating. It, dude, it was nuts, bro. Oh, 6.8. I mean, he had like four goals in 40 matches. He's cracked. He's one shot, bro. All you got to do is take that chance. Yeah, Gabri Viega, would you like to stay on trial with us? Dylan Castro? Well, now that we've trialed him, we know exactly how good he is. The fact that he's 17 years old, hasn't even turned 18 yet. Um, a big concern on Dylan Castro is that potential, right? He's never going to be a great passer. He is a work rate tackling kind of guy, but his athleticism is a bit, a bit down in the dumps. He's just a good decision making. Where are you going, microphone? Chill out. I don't think we sign him, do we? 
They're not interested in them anymore. Completely butchered that negotiation. This, I just want to do a loan move. And Gera had that one club interested in him. I don't. I, if we can turn Gera into any money at all, I'd be fine with that. No! Bless me. Uh, yeah, what's the question? Uh, Sam Asare's got interest from a club? Finally, dude. Jeez. Send him down to the B team. We couldn't find a freaking loan move for him. Yeah, I'll absolutely take it. Absolutely, Vanessa. Excellent question. Very helpful question. Why is it not a popular decision to let Christian Pacheco go? The guy showed no inspiring improvement at all. Oh, Garaw for 30,000. Easy. Oh my God, there's a lot of them. Loan offer for Asare, what level? Oh, League 2. Dude, this is perfect. It's exactly what we wanted for Sam Asare. He needs playing time. He needs playing time at a high level. Exactly what we needed. This, not not so much. To send him back to Mexico and... First choice. Wow, you actually took that? First choice goalkeeper back in Mexico. That works for me. Because um, you were a hero of all of our... Uh, he was a hero of the League Cup, Francois Xavier Garon. We'll give him a choice of where he wants to play, ne uh, play next. It's not worth the 15000 to lose a deal. I watched your scouting tips, found a wonder kid from Colombia. You're the best. If you want, I can send him send a skills, get a screenshot of my very first wonder kid. We've actually got a section in the Discord where you can share it with everybody. Uh, do that. How long is Elon planning to be live today? Long time, my dude. We're, uh, I'm, we're just feeling the vibes, feeling the rhythm, feeling the rhyme, you know? All right, look, the offer on the table is 4 million. If you offer 4 million, you can have him. Lusitana La Russa, you're going to have to offer me 60,000. Did I stutter? Yes, I did stutter. Sorry, please come back. Actually, I don't really care. He's a solid B-team-ish player. He's like my, maybe not good enough to play on the B-team, although right now. Bit of an awkward sticking point. He might not be good enough for the B team anymore. I do not have an NBA team. No, David. I got an Argentine wonder kid on loan. 27 goals in his first 12 games. That'll, yeah. They, <laughs> that'll do. It's bobsled time. Where's the promised hot tub stream? It has more than one like, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't follow the Twitter. Uh, first of all, what are you doing? Right? How are you? How are you existing? Second of all, um, big tweet said uh, one like, do a hot tub stream. It's 295 likes. I don't know what you expected. Really? I mean, come on now. Now Chavez is interested. Make an offer then. See, I, I have Queens Park, Watford, and Aarhus interested in in our boy here. What about? 3.3 probably as low as I'd want to go because we could take Billy for some serious money but he's also an American center back with some serious potential oh the the moves are set awesome Asare have fun man I really I'm looking forward to you developing I do think there's a lot of potential locked in there he's decided to go play there is no way you're going to make a Portuguese second division team that being said have a great time man Francois Xavier Garon Yeah, they spent more on Pacheco than Billy Herrera, who actually plays in the first team and has a good... Uh, uh, they have to make it a very good offer for us to sell. We're saying all the right things in the media. We would sell him. They would have to be a fantastic offer in to get Billy Herrera out. Fantastic. <sighs> Ricardo's got a loan move. Have fun, bud. You just have a great time out there today. That's what it's all about, really. Just go out there, have a great time. Turn that off. It's 
caused a lot of our problems. Okay. Uh. Oh, we got a bigger scouting staff. I don't think I can keep that on. David Thompson looks unlikely to be registered. Honestly, I'm surprised the offers haven't come in for David yet. I want the offers to come in for David. Yeah, I'm sorry about Kolasinic. It hurts. Any chance we can get the Canadian in early? No, he's. we're waiting on him turning 18, Pults. It's not the sort of thing we can pay our way around. Money is not the solution to every problem. Why are we selling our center back? We're not. But if we get 3.3 million, I think that's a really, really, really fair value for him. He's not a starter. But you ever do an unemployed start? I've done that in the past a lot of the time when I was playing the game by myself. Um, I don't know. I actually don't know. That's fine on Billy Herrera. We'll just go back to the 4 million asking price and you know what it is if you want to meet it. That's fine. You want to meet it? Four you can months have already. Time goes quick. My God, four months already. Who's that? It's Rick from Holland. Not Jake from State Farm, but Rick from Holland instead. Yeah, it looks like Thompson and Victor Navarro are going to get themselves registered. So pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Well, should receive registration treatment. Well, Denise has to be registered for reasons. We do have room to register one other person if we want to. I feel like we should want to. Maybe just take Arturo Gonzalez. Be a B-team goalkeeper, but we will need a third goalkeeper once we loan out the, the other guy. Like if we loan... Yeah, we loan out Ricardo. We have Moises Denise, Pule, Matty Magne, Bruno Friedrich, and then... Arturo Gonzalez. Yeah. Makes sense. So they're registered. I mean, they're fine. They're in. The plan is to loan out Max Wallapia. Nobody's interested, though, so... Not super easy. Jose, we did the Colombian pre-contract. Jason Serna is on our team. Of course, 12 million from Sporting. They have the money to go get that guy, but we don't. Glad we could find them for find him for them. It's really helpful of us. How similar these guys are in a lot of ways. He wouldn't join. Okay, what I want you to understand about this transfer is he would not join until January because he's under 18. So 
this is not a deal that we have to figure out. I'm gonna loan him out. How's this guy not in your team? But we might as well try and figure it out on deadline day, right? <sighs> now what if we got rid of this and paid you two million right now would that be okay We have the luxury of patience. I don't like that deal. I would have taken the other deal more. Again, he cannot join us. He cannot join us until January. He can't join us until January. We can make this negotiation a little more drawn out than obviously we would normally do on deadline day. He cannot join us until then. So we don't have to win sprint this. We take our time. We come back to that in a couple of days. We come back to it in a couple of days. We will be all right. And finally, a Venezuelan. Thank goodness. Oh, hello. Norman. How you doing? Having good luck with the Canadian young players. Are you another one that actually has a shot to be good? We'll leave the escalators in so we can drive the contract way down. So he's super cheap unless he breaks into the first team, which is obviously a long shot under any circumstance. Uh, really, our transfer uh, for for Young, for Norman Young, they leaked it. The agent took that and leaked it. Are you serious? We don't have too many under 23s. We can't sign a guy right now. Tricky Fingers, thank you for the two months. Wow! Dave Rick, thank you so much for the three, both with a Twitch Prime. That's $10 of Jeff Bezos money. Just shh, 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 shh. Out. Can't wait until January. You can sign him on end of contract. Oh my God, is this contract gonna go? Is this contract actually gonna run out? <sighs> we might actually wait then. And we got a good Canadian. There's a good Canadian hanging around. He joins next summer though. He's actually a young Canadian center back who, who has like potential. That dude's just kind of an automatic based off the range and price. It's been an exceptionally busy deadline day. Yeah, can't rule anything out. We get some sort of crazy late offer somebody but i'm pretty happy with where everything's landed i think we moved the players except for portilla that we really that we wanted to move we thought portilla was going to hold more value but he just didn't shinji yuk he's just he's a sprinter out there Big chunk of, uh, of money definitely came out to make the deals that we were able to make in this deadline day. Hmm. Try picking up Troy Parrott. I never thought of that one, actually. Enrique has gone to sporting. That sucks. We know Jose Enrique is a very good player. All right, time to, uh, to get set for the league and get ready to... Get ready to play a season, right? We've got our team. We've got our team. Our team is in place. I feel really good about the team we have in place. So, let's make the magic happen this year, boys. Let's make the magic happen. We got a really, 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 really healthy balance, guys. Really healthy balance. Still surveying what we can ask about. You know, maybe improving youth recruitment once in our lives would be a good idea. 
Ah, uh, yes, team registration. So we have uh, everybody registered that we can, like Jason Cerna, Magnus Hansen, Xiao Silva, Angel Samudio, Jose Ruiz, Valdir, Jason Sweeney, Michael Portilla, Carlos Melgar, Jose Matias, Juan Diego Mejia, Nelson Salazar, Billy Herrera, Holland Soretto, Victor Navarro, He Shin, Alexi Guskov, Armando Pereira, Kevin Barrientos, Victor Orozco, Bruno Friedrich, David Thompson, Bruno Gama, Gelbrito, Ala Amara, Steven Lopez, Walter Mabasso. Steven Lopez? I don't know about Steven Lopez. The rest of them, Mabasso, Appia, Jose Vaz, uh, Yossi Gendi, Shojong, Pule Mati Mane, Arturo Gonzalez, Moises Diniz, Christian Carbajal, Jairo Concha. Um, hmm. Let's look at a positional distribution. So we've got our goalkeepers, right? We've got right backs in Melgar and Gama. We've got center backs in Ala Amara, David Thompson, Nelly Salazar, Magnus, and uh, Barrientos counts as a left back on this thing, but technically, you know, he's fine, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, midfield's really crowded. Concha, Appia, Orozco. We send you to the B team. We should send you to the B team. You earned that right, Edgar. Matias, Sweeney, Shojong. Is Kaleidium... No, he's not going to improve enough. He, he's going he's going nuts with his improvement, but he's not going to improve enough that we want to have him registered, right? At least to play in an actual league match, I don't think so. So I think Steven Lopez holds his spot. This is our team. How do you get promoted with a semi-pro team in Vanarama North? That's where Dr. Benji got stuck for a long time. You can watch my Saving, Saving Ben Save or whatever it's called, that video. Uh, and I go through a lot of different tips and little scouting tricks that can help find you the best players. Uh, but this is our team. Those boys right there, the names we just read off, they've all got their own stories. Steven Lopez certainly doesn't belong there, but our center backs uh, seem to be getting torpedoed, so it's good to have another one. In terms of outgoing, uh, Francois Xavier Guerrero has departed. You know, we gave him a couple years to be a part of the first team, and we just never thought that he he got comfortable. He never, he never improved. Uh, David Polito was sold. David Polito has been sold for an amount of just over $8 million. Can we get a starting 11 recap for the upcoming season? Man, it is really not set. We've rotated pretty heavily. What we do know is that we've got Joss Silva and we've got Armando Pereira who are going to be the two strikers that we rely on heavily. And we've got a lot of strikers that we like. We have Valdir and Portilla, who we both consider uh, very comfortable first-team plays, even though Valdir has never really turned a, a corner. But Ja Silva, three goals and an assist in three matches. Only slightly outdone by Adam Hlozak, scoring seven f goals in three matches. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Later, loser. A lot of goals, man. That is a lot of goals. What's this about? Uh, oh, it's just um, pleased we had the opportunity to acquire these players. Uh, we didn't even get a full press conference for the new arrivals on deadline day. Apparently, Victor Navarro is not a huge hit with the Portuguese press. I can't imagine why. We are going to finish these trials, though. I'm going to try and extend all six of them. See if we can keep these young guys around to get a good idea of how good they are. All right, just wanted to see Hlozek, but it seems he's doing well. Yeah, he's okay. Hlozek, Hlozek is fine. Two players called up for international duty. He, Shin, and Zhou Zhang. God, it's a dream. Straight into the Chinese team. Uh, they're very disappointed in the finances involved in the signing of Hansen, Damas, and Melgar. Just get used to the amount of money that we're spending, man. Because it's only going to go up from here, okay? We, we bring all this money in, but we're not bringing it in for you guys to take some lavish corporate retreat, okay? We're bringing it in so that when a guy like Esteban Contreras actually ends up being good, that we can then acquire him. 
You're interestingly terrible at defense for a fullback. Never mind. Manu Real hates big matches. All I needed to see. James Ovalle. Struggles in adaptability, but of course, I'm an American head coach. Bring him in, put him in the U23s, maybe? He's got some solid senior experience. The wages are a little high. I think we might... No, there's no roadmap to the first team for you, bud. Yeah, the wages are definitely a little high. What's the personality on him? Oh, shoot. We just flubbed this. Okay, um... He's literally professional. He'll reach it no matter what. So let's just go loans one month. We sign him then. Oh, whoops. He didn't see that. Hope Lozek will go to the Euros. I would be surprised if he didn't, really. It's the type of, like, player that at a first major tournament uh, that you want to get him involved. You're scouting Bruno even though he signed a deal with another team? It's Bruno. Yeah, we removed him from the, uh, he's not on the shortlist, and the scouting report finished. That's why I didn't do anything. It freaked me out, man. We do still have Portia. Yes. We do still have Portia on the team. He's going to be used mainly as a we need goals substitute. Mainly. And we have our September international break. We come back from that and hopefully we start dusting it up. We've played three matches, but they've been very like, you know, like one, two, three. Competition rep, we are seventh in Europe. Unfortunately, we're behind the Netherlands still. Wouldn't be surprised if our coach didn't take him. Why is that? Why would you not take Klozek to the Euros? What's your record against Benfica? I honestly don't know if we've ever beaten Benfica. We play them really well. A uh, big breakthrough. 27-year-old Christian Carbajal gets his first call-up, plays 90 minutes in a Peruvian win. That's it's a big moment. It's a big moment for him. I'm going to congratulate him. Wow, just dumped all over. He's not, though. Who's giving this opinion? Pones order? Walter Mabasso's not a breakthrough prospect. He's a stud muffin. Seriously, though, congratulations, man. Javi Renteria. Um, hmm. Should just take one more week to get him scouted, right? Thomas Papuga, 80% scouted, and it's that bad. He's on our actual target list. Then the guy we're really curious about, Lamine Mendez. Apparently, they want for 28 million. Hopefully, they'll all accept that again. I doubt it, though. Usually, they get pretty moody about a second one. Certainly not a transcendent player. Uh, they rejected... Yeah, they rejected the Mendez one. It's a shame. That is a shame. I'm saying goodbye to my first ever surefire first ballot hall of FM Saints player today. But $10 million is a lot of money in Ireland. I thought you were going to say 10 million, but $10 million is $10 million. And it's true. But $10 million is $10 million. I don't think you'll find anybody in the audience here today, anybody in the chat that would disagree with you, Tiberius, on making the right decision. I hope that money provides you a couple more brilliant players. Thank you for the 14 months. And we're looking up Caden Francis and Santiago Ascasibar. Okay. 
Are we still getting Chinese regions in our ES? Our, China, our youth intake is mostly Chinese players. You gonna play a match today? Oh yeah, we're gonna play plenty of matches today. We're working our way downtown. We might not be walking fast, but we're working our way downtown. Nelly, you gotta play, man. You gotta play. Jason Cerna's gotta play. Okay. Yeah, once we get through the transfer window, I mean, we're sailing. Oh, the players. We have to look up players. Comfortably. <laughs> we're comfortably strolling, but we are still homebound. You know, we are, we're, we're still homebound. We got to make sure we stay anchored in what matters. This uh, ghoul says I signed big lads 6-1 and 80 kilograms. Is that a lot of kilograms? I'm really, I'm not even sort of oriented on like how much a lot of kilograms is. I'm not. My Caden Francis is at Blumfontein Celtic. He's actually moved from Chippa to Victoria Pilsen where he played two seasons, then didn't play and then got back into the team. Uh, really just never played well, and then they brought him back to South Africa for a million dollars. So it did not go according to plan for Caden Francis. He's not been in the South African team now at the age of 24. Uh, and even though he's incredibly explosively athletic, it, ju it just hasn't panned out for him. It's not been a good career. A bit weird for him. Santiago Escasabar. Is it Leeds? Oh, man, he's got six uh, Argentina appearances. Oh, what a career. So he lights it up at Herta. Not really. I mean, 6.78, 6.68. He, he's falling out of the team each year and then makes a January move to Leeds for 13 million. Plays the rest of the year, doesn't play well, and then gets a loan move to Sheffield where he's fantastic. Plays of the vast majority of the games for Sheffield, puts down a 7.1. Leeds kind of brings him back, you know. And he's starting to slip out of the team at Leeds as well, but he did a pretty, pretty wild there. Able to get into the Argentinian national team for six appearances and use that bulbous brain of his, you know? Two point two kilograms per pound. So we're talking about like 180, 190 pounds if you're 80 kilograms. That is a rather large dude. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite, Stan Tootle. Is he actually that good? Because if he is, that just might have become target number one or two for the next transfer window. There we go. There's a nice ball winner, Umberto Duarte. He just doesn't have the work rate, weirdly enough. He's got all the stamina he needs. Togo. Okay. 16-year-old from Finland. Our scouts are turning in, though. Oh, this guy's, this guy's an auto sign. This guy is an automatic sign. No compensation, super low wage. This is the type of guy that you just let a contract rip. Come on, Ganielson. Nielsen Forster. Nice find. Very nice find. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Scout. Scout. Rafael Ortiz. Definitely worth the scout. Okay. And that's our last scouting report from next to the transfer window. Newcastle are beating City 1-0. Who scored? Somebody! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Zealand News. I am your host, Zealand. Today on Zealand News, Newcastle Man City, that is the match to play today, and uh, Newcastle's winning. It is Kraft. 
from John Joe Shelby, who I would only describe as a model citizen. Uh, Kraft has scored Manchester City is losing because it did not start Zach Steffen uh, because Pep cannot grow a full head of hair. I will use that line until I cannot also do the same thing. Any good staff, preferably a scout, Jackson. There is one scout available. Uh, thank you very much for asking before. I appreciate the boldness. Uh, and this has been your episode of Zealand News. There is no, uh, no important match in any other major league in Europe today. Just this one Premier League match in Newcastle, uh, which is playing, I believe, for the European Confed Cup playoffs conference something. Uh, which if you finish in the top 25 in the Premier League, you get access to. Looking forward to their qualification from that. We will see you on the other side of this break. All right. Um, Stipe Buk. He said Bologna. He's got two Croatian caps. So he's been in Bologna for a while. Okay. They snapped him up for 15 million from Hashtuk split. And he has honestly been brilliant. Took him a couple years to really get into the team, but now he's in the team and balling out. And Bologna, you know, last two years, eighth, ninth. Been a consistent, uh, just solid mid-table team. They triggered an automatic contract extension. All right, well, now we got to scout him. Portia, my man. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Nope. And I have just loved your conduct. I have just loved it. Incredible conduct, Portia. Really, really special stuff, you know. And DeLong doesn't really like being down in the B team. Well, you can get over it, man. Wasn't registered. He's going to get all moody about it. Get over it. Hmm. Where does Model Citizen rank in the air? Uh, John Joe Shelby, when you make a video talking about where the top personalities land. It's just a picture of John Joe Shelby across the top. Pretty sure. If you got a right back with 18 passing, but 10 crossing, how do I make him uh, the most of that passing? All he does is cross, make him an inverted winger. That's actually a dream. Oh, he finally scored against Sri Lanka, Walter Mabasso. Congratulations, man. Am I gonna have a chance to congratulate him? Really cool moment for him to score for his country. I'm delighted for him, yeah. I mean, 13th cap for Australia. Mabasso bags one. We all know Sri Lanka is a very good national team. I've definitely never made a video talking about how they're the worst national team in the world. <sighs> what happened to Red Dead 2? So I got into school, right? So the new semester started and I didn't have the time. When I say I didn't have the time, I literally didn't have the time. I'm not just somebody that's like, oh my God, I'm doing a couple of things. And uh, I mean, most of my days were usually booked from like eight or 9 a.m. through to, to, you know, when I would go to sleep. Hey, Sweeney got to play. And so we just didn't have time to do that. And we will hopefully uh, be able to do that soon. Yeah, I'm a boss, so I got your back too. Oriental Dragon have paid Carlos Sarmiento uh, zero dollars as part of our his most recent international appearance. Nice, huge payout for the amateur club in Colombia that we signed him from. Sapir Rotman. Yeah, not interested. Yossi Gendi did uh, win player of the match, though, in our U23s. That was hot. Red is dead, see? What happened to CK3? Uh, what happened to stream anything that wasn't football manager? Um, heads of youth development are incredibly important, by the way. It was a clause because we signed him from... Uh, uh, we signed him for free, which means there was technically compensation, but since he was like amateur, there was no actual compensation. So that's why it's like pretending that the clause existed, basically. If that all makes sense, dude's got two strength. Gotta watch out for that strong breeze. Might pick you up, toss you away. Might be a lot of things wrong with this guy, but one thing that's right is that he's a pretty darn good player right now and he could get better. Yeah, Matias played. Cool. Jose Galbri. Uh, oh, yeah. Barrientos had never played for Colombia before. Congratulations. Gave a good account of yourself. Got to be super cool. 
uh, to get on the field for your national team. That is the second, uh, the third Colombian national team player we've created. Ortiz and Castellanos have both come through our program. We're so proud. So, Jackson69. All right, Jackson. You ready to be a part of the staff? Ready to be a part of the scouting staff, no less. Just don't know if you are. This guy's so, so unathletic. It's a huge detriment to the lifestyle. You're also bad. We should probably drop you off that. Um, goalkeeper. It's also at Lazio. Why would I ever, why would I ever sign a goalkeeper that's not a surefire star on my team from a big club in Europe? Doesn't check out at all. Can we have a review of the window? Yeah, sure. Big Billy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. <gasps> yes. Yeah, Serrano, we're clear on. We finished scouting. The, well, we, he gave me a 2% scouting report. It's really operative, uh, FIFA Connor, to, to tell me you gave me a... You finished a scouting report. You understand the definition of finished? You are now Rodrigo Sam Diego. Jackson! Welcome. Wow. Thank you. Long may you find amazing young players. Long may you find them. Smile. Just bought some pre-workout now my mom thinks I'm doing drugs. Well, it does look suspiciously druggy. You ever like just poured some pre-workout on the table? I mean, geez. Also, that stuff is just like 35 million pounds of caffeine. That is the actual weight, too. In each bite. I'm new to controlling training. Somebody give me tips. I don't know what to do. I train their natural role. And what do I do with the training cards? What do you mean by training cards? Because in here, you can just let the coaches do it and then just go in and add things. And if you want to spend the time and kind of read, you can click on this and read like, you know, what each one does. So you get a good understanding of kind of what you're doing. On the individual training, it's much more complicated, uh, much more nuanced. You can come into this position to kind of see everything that you can do, but you don't want to blow out your physio recommendation too much on how hard you're training the player. But then you're risking injury, and that is not something that we want to be doing. Casrizo, thank you for the 13 months. And what's up, Campiarinas? Today I got my AstraZeneca dose, and right now I feel like somebody smashed my bones. It's fine. Hopefully everybody gets their shot. Yeah, I'm already vaxxed, man. Been vaxxed for a month and a half. Woo! They actually just put in uh, the CDC as of yesterday. It says that I don't have to wear a mask anywhere. Does that mean the pandemic is over? I don't know, because all the curfews and stuff are still in place, but obviously it's not over. It's not anywhere close to over, but that is cool. I'm all for normally being in like the you should anyways crowd, and I still have to at school, like the school hasn't changed the rule yet. They said they're reviewing all available data or something, but when the CDC, which is like, Kind of the people that have been on the good side of the fight most of the time when the cdc comes to you and is like yeah you uh you don't have to wear a mask anywhere now you're kind of like okay cool this dude didn't put up good ratings in the portuguese second division how could i possibly believe he's gonna put up good ratings now how would that make any sense i don't Do you still carry the virus? Yeah, but the CDC, what the CDC was testing. And uh, look, I don't have a degree, obviously, which is why I blindly trust the CDC. I'm not like going, I'm not going out on a limb here. That's why I blindly trust the CDC because I have no degrees in anything. But based off what I understand from what the CDC is saying, the study of it and talk, talking about like the carrying of the virus is that you are much less likely to carry the virus uh, in that situation. But now everybody's uh, going to pretend that we know what's happening i don't know what's happening that's why i'm blindly following what the cdc is saying that's it that and i have much better cell service since i got the vaccine don't know if that's related to anything but uh 
Uh, so you don't train their role. Uh, no, you don't have to train their role, Snake. You don't have to train their role. Yeah, I do. I, I am fairly well educated. I mean, I've got two degrees and soon to be three, but they're not. None of them have anything to do with this, right? Oh yeah, if you're not wearing a va if you're not wearing a mask and you're not vaccinated, what are you doing? Why are you the problem with everything? My favorite thing is people are paying for fake vaccine cards. And I'm like, dude, you do realize the vaccine is free, right? So like, you're actually just paying money to do something you could do for free. But obviously that's not why they're doing it. They're actually afraid of getting better cell service. I don't like... City equalized? Yeah! Yeah, that's everybody's favorite joke, right? Is the microchip, the like, dude. I don't want to get microchipped. They'll be able to track me at all times. I'm like, you are carrying a cell phone, right? And every app on your cell phone is tracking all of your activity on all of your other apps on your cell phone, which means if you have your location data turned on for one app, every one of your apps has your location data, right? So like I have my location data on my freaking Snapchat so my mom can see where I am, right? Then every other app that's got its cookies going on my phone can see the location data off Snapchat. So you're basically carrying around a tracking chip that's also sharing a lot of your personal information, which is more dangerous than a freaking tracking chip plugged into your shoulder. People just don't know this stuff though. So they're like, damn, I want my freedom! Freedom! Mel Gibson on a horse, pretending to have an accent, right? Not exactly how it works. I actually just did a story on a dial, so that, I mean, that is. Because Apple just released a an update for iOS where now uh, you are able to block the activity across uh, the different apps from the cookies. Freedom. <laughs> Freedom! I, my, my last news package of the year for school was actually on this, that iOS update was what I did the news package on. So I'm unusually well equipped to handle this conversation. Mitko Ilyev. Some Benfica too. God, he's expensive and he's bad. It's the word. <gasps> Nether Uruguayan forward. God, I wish I could produce somebody in another position. Cries in Rodrigo Bentecur. DR Congo apparently. Well, DR Congo just played a youth national team game. That's why my scouts like. Have you seen these guys? And I'm like, nope. But they also play in Europe, and they're not cheap. They're not who you're there to find. And TS. I'm interested to see the latest report on Matthias. Like when that comes back, I'll be excited. Freyr Burison, we've decided a while ago you weren't the guy. Okay, Godfried Appia. Nassim Makrami, a 20 year old goalkeeper with that low of ability is not something I'm interested in. Ramiro Mendez though, can we offer you a trial? Can I interest you in a trial perhaps? You're at a very bad club. It'd probably be a fun opportunity to come train but it'd be cool. It'd be cool for you. It'd be cool for me. You're uh, you're a no, Amari. A little too expensive. You are kind of fun, kind of explosive, super expensive. Uh, cool. They accepted it. Yes. Two weeks, we'll know exactly how good he is. Using trials for players that are at clubs. This is something I need to do a lot more of. 2-1 to City. <sighs> Thank you for the $4, by the way, Lookma. How do I increase my scouting range? You gotta make more money and then ask the board. That's basically it. That is it, Monik. I wish there was an easier way for you, but ooh. Ooh. Might have a good 19 year old Bolivian dude just turned 19, youth national team player, Bolivar. Is it a club called Bolivar in Bolivia? Yes, the passing is a little low. So the passing is a little low. A little. Everything else 
Looks good. Dude, Xiao Zhang just scored a hat trick against Cambodia. This man is a legend on the Chinese national team. 13 caps, 7 goals. Live your life, Xiao Zhang. Sheesh. Sheesh! Absolutely. Xiao Zhang was, it was brilliant. Love to see him bagging a hat trick for his country. Who wouldn't? Who's going to go to that press conference and be like, oh, dude, I hated it. Hated seeing my player dominate on the international stage. Passing was first in the attribute test, and it was for 20, but it doesn't change too much from year to year. Pavel Smisek, no. Mark Travers, no. Patrice Diara is worth tracking. Actually capable player. Cool. Jonathan Quinones. Wow, you are so bad. You are so bad. How do you live? How do you operate as a human being in society? Why are you so expensive? You are pretty good. We'll try and finish that up so we can get some reports on your hidden attributes. You too, but really, really happy we could all get together and have this conversation. You, if you can't play in the middle, which you can't, do not have the, play, the pace to play out wide at our level. Sorry, bud. Four, two, three, one. They're running a Trek Wartista up top. <laughs> did Daver ever get resold? Yes, he did. How long are you going to stream for? Probably a couple more hours. Want to play some matches? We, we had such a such a grinder of a deadline day. Right. We always take our time through the transfer windows. We're trying to win, man. Pedro Gonsalves. Santa Clara is not still a bogey team. We won them, um, won against them last time. Gonsalves. Is he on the transfer list for? 8.5 million. Goodness me. That salary demand is insane. Fabio Andrade. Often thought it was weird we were tracking this guy. He's playing for Newcastle. We're not going to sign anybody from England for a long time. And then I'm like, maybe Britain? Oh, thank goodness it's you. Sorry about that. Rough. Rough to get that injury on a loan. But we are not recalling you. You'll be healthy before the end of the season. How does the media rate us for the league predictions now? Yeah, worth looking at. Oh, it's a nice, it's a nice couple of matches to kind of get us into the, into the swing of things. Um, Diogo Miguel, we got 100%. 20 years old. Gruther Frith doesn't see the field well. He's a good athlete. He's definitely a winger, not, a, not an interior player. Didn't have the crossing. I, I, I just think he's not enough. Not enough. I've done all the lookups. I did Stipe Biak. I did get these Fs out of here. I did Caden Francis. Get Ws in the chat. We did some Ws. I did all of the lookups, okay? I did Santiago. Yeah, I did the lookups because I respect you all as human beings, okay? So the next time we come around here saying Zeeland hasn't done the lookups, you know, even though it's been true every other time in your entire life that you've said that. We are actually on top of it and have done every lookup today. VAR check. Get the, get the emote out. We get VAR check on the lookups, please. I believe, I believe we've got it. Check in the lookups. Checking possible dub. Also, possible dub, this kid. We're talking about a 16-year-old Asman Segndal. 
He turns 17 in a couple of days. But he's professional, his potential is nuts, and I am interested. Declare interest for transfer, yes. Uh, make transfer. What are we talking about here? Like, mm, uh, I don't know about that right now, but definitely declaring some interest. Kalinashenko is a no for me. David Marrera, I just don't see how you could ever be a guy that we would want to sign, David. And the other Norwegian sucks. John Young, not bad. Showing interest in Segundal, yeah, I mean he's a top player. We're gonna be very, we're always interested in a player of that caliber. Uh, you know, definitely, definitely a player that we could uh, we could see ourselves signing at some point here in the future. Um, very excited about the future at this club, and uh, yeah. I feel like it'd be great at coaches' interviews. That felt really natural. I felt like it came naturally to me. You know. Colombians. Colombian midfielders with outrageous potential. In particular, Carlos Arias. His contract is... Yeah, we're going to wait. We are going to wait on this because his contract is expiring. We're going to wait. And we might be able to sign him into contract for free and we would lose our mind. Is it always good to stockpile players? No. If you knew the right ones to sign at every level of your team, uh, then it would be the right idea. My main reason for stockpiling players is we just don't know who's going to turn that corner for us. OD clap clap FC. And so we do, we do do a little blanket recruitment on occasion in order to help us figure out like, well, this guy's going to work and then this guy's not going to work. And why is he mad about strength training now? Let's work on defensive positioning, right? Uh, it's something that he's good at, but maybe he'll be better. Be more. He'll be, he'll be happy about working on it. I really think he needs to work on ball control. He, he does not have the first touch to be a midfielder in higher levels of the game lacks the first touch to be a midfielder at higher levels. OD! <laughs> FC! OD! FC! Guard, you'd be out there leading that, right? Thank you for the four months as part of the hammers. You should try all the Africans you have on your short lists or your scout lists. Yeah. Oh, penalty given! <sighs> Newcastle got a pen, so it's going to be 2-2. Two -two. Nope, that was all wrong. Run it again. Run it again. Run it again. Camera's over here. Oh, uh, <clears throat> welcome to Zealand News. I'm your host, Zealand. A. From Joe Linton, interesting, fascinating stuff from Joe Linton. He scored the penalty and Newcastle with just one shot on goal has two goals. Absolutely amazing. <clears throat> yeah, it's brilliant stuff. Uh, now, now Manchester City's defense, on the other hand, terrible. I mean, problem is Tiki Taka doesn't work on defense. You can't ping the ball around 45 times to annoy your opposition when you are playing defense. And this sometimes comes back to bite. Pep. Guardiola. Now we were told in, uh... Pep Girardelli. Sorry about that mistake. We pride ourselves on a pristine journalistic ethic uh, that will not be, not be undone anytime soon. Okay, 2-2 two -two to the half. Newcastle, Man City. We'll get your reports from the second half after this.
on Sealand News. Stacy's left us alone now again, Chad. Stacy's left us alone. Just a little, just a little glitch in the matrix, you know, just a little glitch to keep you on your toes. A little something, something, a little here, a little there. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. He is that good. I, I need him. He actually is that good. He actually has that potential. Oh my God. I need him. Oh my god, I need him. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god, I need him. I need him so bad. He just turned 17. No, they're not. We are not paying 28 million for this guy. We are not. Hello. Hello. Declare as top transfer target. Hello. You will be giving me Lamine Mendes in January. You just don't know it yet. See, Jerry Voss, uh, we were right to turn it down. Uh, the potential is way out there, seemingly unreachable for, for our boy Jerry, even though he just turned 19. Um, that's a shame. That's a shame for our boy Jerry Voss. We liked him. Prince Baposamadongu. We already knew this guy was bad. Angel Castellanos. Do it again. Morawan El Badawi. Mm. Hmm. Cheers? Cheers, man! Stacy, will you chill the f chill the? F I mean, uh, we'll use this opportunity to change wardrobe. Stacy's mom, what is going on? You blend so hard and I've waited for so long. Baby, can't you see? You are not the one for me. Oh, shut up. It actually worked. That actually worked. All you gotta do is sing to it, chat. Seems like once every hour and a half. Is that the second time that's happened on uh, the stream today? Once every hour and a half, it just gets weird. That was amazing singing. Thank you. Appreciate it. We put max effort into that. So I'm glad that, you know, I'm glad everybody, every single person that listened to that appreciated it and thought it was the best piece of music they ever heard. So. How do you not have a record label? It's a fantastic question, dude. Fantastic question. I don't know. I, uh, you, you're acting like I would have an answer for you. Pfft, no. I think they just don't understand true greatness. Scouting trip to Norway's coming up aces. This guy's like insane. Good athlete. You won't find a guy smarter. He's really good in the air. Can you play center back? We don't know. Well, I'm looking forward to the actual scouting report then. I think Andres Miranda is going to be our guy. Uh, what about Dayron Jaramillo? Okay. Okay, Dayron. Not only that, his name is awesome. Take a closer look at this player. Uh, Barrientos has said that John Jairo Morello is good. Barrientos, if you lead me to a good player, I'll, I'll love you forever. That is how this works. Yeah, we just had a bunch of new scouting reports come in. We'll see how those go. I'm going to say uh, absolutely number one priority player that can take us to the next level. 100%. Uh, Lamine Mendez, the guy that 
he, he can take us to, to just about every level. I mean, he's professionally just turned 17. We, we know what type of player he is. We've been able to bring him into camp and, and to have some good, you know, good preliminary discussions about like what it would take to get him in, in, in as part of the club. And we're looking forward to that. And obviously, okay, now it's 67 million. It's okay, we'll get him. Watch, we'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get him. I'm not worried at all. There's no way they can hold on to that guy for long. The real question is, who gets there first? Giovanni McGregor, unfortunately. Is not here, Davey. So you're, uh, can we refund Davey on the player lookup? Again, refund Davey on the player lookup. Not Narrow Diamond. You're looking up Herculano Nabian. We actually have a, we got a report on him. He is not really broken into the first team. Uh, at Guimaraes, he's got a loan to Union de Lira and really lit up the third division. So he's clearly a, he's clearly a capable, solid player who can take the field and get the job done. Doesn't get a lot of games with the B team, but doesn't get a lot of team a lot of games with the senior squad either, which is always a bit complicated. But every time he's gone on loan to the third division, he's been prolific. He's bagged goals, and so it's got to be frustrating for him because he's just not getting those games. But what can you do? Last time he played for Guimaraes was two years ago that's just rough that's just brutal hey david get it together man i didn't put you on the uh transfer list right i don't think i did okay magnus hansen showing up on here is nice because we initially were like this guy's huge potential so we signed him uh but we haven't seen a lot of that potential recently but if he's starting to i mean it's that's a little bit that's that's lukewarm that's definitely lukewarm. Holland Soretto, get it together. You're better than that. Akram El Maryami's making you look like an absolute fool. And this guy, Yair Aleman. You can see the improvement in training immediately. We've got the coaches in there and they're like actually able to train now. Benfica's top of the league. Whoa, there's Sailor. Uh, how do you work out when to start the great cull of players? I mean, I started basically immediately. My bad, Ainge. If it makes you feel any better, your boy Saman or, or, or Samad Buntong is not in the game either. So if we could refund Ange, uh, he's he's found his way out of the game. Well, Dennis Politic is here. He's 27. No any na no national team experience. Guy's gone from Bolton to Craiova. After becoming a regular player at Bolton over the last two years in League One, he moves to Craiova. Has a decent first season. Second season's a, a meh. He did go two full seasons, though, and Rapid Bukaresti brought him in, and he had two seasons where, again, kind of meh, 6.8, you know, nothing special. And then Batrana Duamna uh, bring him in, and it's on a hot start to this season because they got relegated. But yeah, he played, he played a huge, huge role in their relegation season as a very regular player, though. In the top Romanian league. So not, not a special player by any stretch. And I wouldn't say having a great career, but he's he's been on a couple of teams and yeah. I just realized I got his sub gifted from the mom bot. <laughs> yeah, she threw down a hundred gifted subs earlier today. It was pretty nuts. I have been has won all four of their games. If we want that Champions League spot, we're going to just have to win every one of the games that we play against teams like Santa Clara and Chavez. And we really should be. I mean, this is all about, uh, this is all going to be about how well we can, uh, and he just trails off into thought how well we can We'll move him to loans. 
how well we can play against the bad teams. I'm not, I'm not going to mess with you anymore. That's what I was thinking. How well we can play against the bad teams. We need to win every single one of our games against the bad teams. Hashtag way too dank. Hashtag hashtag. Don't forget to get one of your players to promote uh, the club to the signing. I find it useful to get your director of football to scout him for three months. It gets reported in the press a lot. Uh, so you're talking about Lamine? The fact that they're asking for 60 million. I'm unfazed. the hell's making Halliday good we are actually really going to catch up on a lot of scouting over the stretch though now that we're finally out of that the longer transfer window god he's just good at all things the center back You're like oh balance natural fitness and stamina it's like okay those are good those are like auxiliaries you know now he's good in he's good in the air but his heading's bad i can see why there's kind of holes in the game and he's getting paid a ton of money then we just got our latest report on Audius. Uh, that end of contract is going to be hot if we can make it. No. Robin Aldo. Look at that. Robin Aldo checks in. And he's vibing, dude. Cancel assignment. We don't need to be watching on Hell Call. He's going to be on loan all season. I think we'll know how good he's doing, how well he's doing. Is it bad if I'm bottom of the league? I mean, I've finished bottom of a league before. It depends on how good your team is. You know, what? what was the prediction of say the media or like what was your personal expectation based off the amount of talent that you thought the team had right like what was the overall expectation of your team that year or was this just one of those seasons where you just got promoted and you're like well i hope we're able to maybe cheese something but i won't be surprised if we get absolutely clattered like is it one of those in which case you can't be too disappointed with the fact that you're Right, bottom of the league because it's not a surprise. Bone Sorter actually almost entirely agrees with my team right now. What a feeling. All right, let's get rid of the unavailables for this match and get rid of my B team and U23s, which are really crowding the view. And now we have, we have our team. Okay, we have Kwame Appia, and we have Mabasso, and Sweeney, Matias, uh, Mejia Barrientos, uh, Salazar, who is now kind of fit and ready to go. We'll take the spot for Billy Herrera, and Bruno Gama steps in at right back. Then Sweeney, Matias, Mabasso, Gushkov as the trek, uh, Arnaldo, and Ja Silva as the two forwards. What happened to Kolasinic? We did not come to an agreement uh, he started to deteriorate physically despite his high natural fitness and we wanted to open up the path for Mejia who now has the direct path to the first team as our relied upon left back we have veteran cover and Christian Carbajal do we want to go he Shin instead of Mabasa or let's start a game with Mabasa we haven't really done that I would like some different options though from what I've seen here so far uh I like Cerna. I mean, actually, kind of like Cerna. Already improving. He Shin's still grinding his passing. I respect it. All right. Hello, everybody. It's been a long time. Yes. Uh, you've lost the last five matches against Santa Clara. We're confident, I think. Uh, given how well Oriental Dragon have played against Bell and Ince, presumably you ask more of the same. It's taken one match at a time, but basically, right? 
We're in no rush on Boon Guard. Considering the influence Gorbani held in the locker room or their fears that his departure could result in significant harm. Uh, he's not the first player to leave in my watch, nor will he be the last. There won't be any problems, I can assure you. We always lean on Jao Silva, of course. Return uh, to club action this weekend after an international period. A lot of players were away representing their countries. How do you see that affecting the team? It's part of the modern game. We're ready for it. The players the players have done it before. They'll do it again. They're very good players, and they're happy to play for their country. They're happy to play for their club, right? Here we go. Yeah, they really, they, they started, they started that press conference a little hot with that. Just a little hot. Like, so, last time, like, so the last five times you've played Santa Clara, you've lost. Oh, let's go! Recook joy! Gonna be a long throw specialist in no time. I mean, it's all about that B team training, man. He's really taking his game to the next level. He's a real Gruden grinder. He's got three B team appearances. For the deer leader, am I right, boys? For the deer leader. How's the lookups going? We're actually only two behind, so making progress. Uh, hello, Carlos. So Marito, we actually finished our report on him. 19-year-old striker. That's some good athleticism. Couldn't have said it any better myself, really. Uh, woo. Okay. Player lookups. We have Stefano Tarati. Thank you, J Lo Dog, for hitting that three months. Welcome to the TTS. Congrats on cooking your bacon. Goalkeeper now at Rangers. He's made the move to Rangers. So he's at Sassuolo, goes on free to Palermo, becomes a regular player in the C division. St. Gallen buys him, uh, St. Gallen, and they are playing in the top league in Switzerland. He becomes the regular starter for two seasons in Switzerland after being a regular starter in the third division. Then in the summer, is sold to Rangers for 9.25, where he becomes the regular goalkeeper at Rangers. Honestly, Pretty solid career that Stefano Tarati has put together for himself, considering he couldn't break into Sassuolo and only made two appearances. That'll work. Like, that'll do. Oliver skips the German, right? Oh, no. God. What am I thinking of? Anyways. He was a Tottenham. He did get, actually, uh, another appearance outside of what happened in the real world with Tottenham. Got a lone move to Norwich, in which he played almost every game in the championship. Loan move to Dusseldorf, where he played 33 games in the Bundesliga without a good rating. And a free move on to Rangers, played one season in the Scottish Premiership, wasn't good. So loaned in the summer to Sparta Prague, where he only got 13 games in the Fortuna Liga. It's kind of failing downwards here. Uh, and then gets brought back to the Rangers team for the next season, plays 13 games actually pretty well, and then naturally gets a transfer deal to Derby in the championship for 4.3 million. Pretty good piece of business on Rangers' part. Then he laid down a 6.48 over the back half of the season, and now he got promoted with Derby into the Premier League, where he's made three more Premier League appearances. Braga just beat Sporting 5-1. How is Sporting always so bad at the beginning of the season? They were in relegation spots after 10 games last year. Nearly qualified for Europe. Uh, I think they actually did qualify for Europe. No, they didn't. They nearly qualified for Europe, and now they are starting out the season again, playing like an absolute dumpster fire. My goodness, it's match day. Can we get a uh, refund and realize uh, it was Santa Kryptonite, Clara? Oh, yeah. Uh, they're literally last in the league, too, so we've got all the Kryptonites working together this time. I don't think we'll be signing him with that wage anytime soon. As nice as it is to look at and think about, 
Uh, Nelly Salazar, no. But Jojong, Vaz, Thompson, Friedrich, Melgar, Valdir, Samudio, Jason Serna. Yeah, you're going to get a run. Patrick Bach. Is he improving at all? No, really awesome. Great to see. Okay. The team building phase is over. The team using phase has arrived. Thank goodness. The Solomon Islands called him up to the under 23s. Who the hell do you have on the senior team? This guy doesn't suck. What is wrong with you? Sol the Solomon FA is like the worst thing I've ever seen. The coach has such bad judging player ability that he can't go, oh, this guy is in a reserves team of a top level Portuguese team. Well, I don't, I don't know. This guy picks coconuts for a living. Like, I, I mean, it's one or the other. Really, it's a toss up. That's what's happening right now. I feel so bad for him. Richard Owusu, really not convinced of his ability at all. Thanks. And then the 17-year-old Ecuadorian. I mean, if he's got like a good... Wait, we can actually just go to, to here. Reasonable, physical. Okay. Plus a 6-5, but the teamwork being bad hurts. Personality is not exactly a good one. There we go. Brog is always gonna have some gym dwell. Oh my, wait, you're telling me he's actually not that expensive? Back again. Why are all the best deals strikers? I want this deal as like a, on like a center back, please. I want this deal on like a center back. We're not the only ones sniffing around the goods either. Well, those are all loan deals. We're not going to because we're holding out for like a Lamine Mendez and we obviously don't need him, but it looks like he could be a really good player. Pretty classical target, uh, target player. That hasn't broken into the Braga team yet. This is performances have been pretty good, I guess, for the Braga B team, but not great. Thank you, White Gates, for the prime in the seven months. Beautiful. Did you say we got to get him? See what kind of deal. Let's think about making a deal. We, um, if we spend this money, we really, really won't be able to get Lamine Mendez. Um, so like five hundred thousand up front. Let's see where they go negotiating wise from that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. 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 Dude, it's crazy town in here. They, they're asking for like, they're, it's peanuts, right? They're, they're not even asking for any money, okay? It's like, this dude's got all the potential in the world. They're not asking for, they're not asking for Jack, you know? They're not asking for cheddar or uh, Swiss. They're not asking for any of the types of cheeses. I mean, these guys are nuts. They're bonkers. It's insane. This is such a good deal. We're making like... The plays are insane right now. We're making plays that people have never seen before. I don't know how this guy is so cheap, but we're going to pretend like it's something that we did. Absolute mastermind play over here. We've got the money in the bin, okay? We've got the money in the bin. The guy's pretty good. Viegas Sporting loaned him to Montreal. Why? What in the world is the point of that? What are you helping with that? Loaned him to Montreal. I don't know what to tell you, man. We really don't need to be wasting our time on Bruno Bonfim. We can see how good he is, and I don't think he's uh, good enough. You... Not good enough. 
Alessandro Silvestri. Yeah, I just doubt we'd be able to afford you, but you are good enough. Doesn't like big matches, even in a minor way, but he's a very consistent performer, but he would want a ton of money. It's all, it's all rather complicated. Res huge respect for my scouts putting in a monster shift right now. No point in scouting this guy, though. The report is right. He's just not... Not enough. Not enough. No. Baru. No. A lot of Romanians that have popped up for us, but it's just no. The repeated answer is, is no. Try and save our scouts as much time as possible by dropping these guys pretty quickly, but... I always liked Amaril, though. Okay, who is this? Oh, it's Borges. Already accepted. Beautiful. Fringe player, next transfer window. Easy money, easy money. We'll get rid of both of those. He's pretty patient, so we should actually be able to negotiate pretty hard here. Take me now! Come back! Come back! I don't deserve it! Where'd you go? Come here! I'm ready! Just take me! Alright! <clears throat> okay. This has been fun, guys. It's been like a blast. He was, he was over 50% patient. We'll do it again in a month. We'll do it again in a month. That's our only option. We'll do it again in a month. He's, he's over 50%. How did that happen? He is over 50% patient. I refuse to believe that he just turned down the initial offer all the way. How did that... Oh. I would have never done that if I thought that was a remote possibility. I... Uh, hmm. 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 Okay. Okay. We're okay. We got a match to play, like, literally an hour later after fumbling the bejesus out of that negotiation. So, Petty's not a brave lad. I feel like we might be... How are you... No, well, he can't play against me, right? That's part of the loan deal. There's no way he can play against me. I don't want to play Sawadoga. Why are they playing him at right wing? I didn't even... I've never played him there before. Uh, anyways, okay. <sighs> Nelly Salazar is in the first team. We've had this first team picked out for a while. The whole team is set up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. People want Portilla? Well, we, we might see him in this game. We might see them. I we really do owe this team. It's getting ridiculous the fact that we haven't we've lost 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 five straight games to this team. I want to beat them badly. They've lost all they're starting Sawadogo. Apparently the loan deal that we did allows them to play against me. We are playing against one of my players that has a shot to be a first teamer in the future. Zach, thank you for the Twitch Prime. We had a player look up for He Shin who's on our team. Nice. Wouldn't uh, Mabaso be a perfect Metsala? So here's here's what we've got going on right now. We have advanced playmaker, right? Which is take more risks, shoot less often, which is fine. Stay wider, dribble more. All right. Now, the difference between that and Metsala is, is like... See, the reason that we... Mabaso is not like a let's get in the channel and cross it. He's a really good passer, right? With the dribble more and the creativity. Uh, now, the gets further forward... We could add that. Right? Like, we could add that. Let's try it. Let's try it. The, the suggestion warmed up, like... I warmed up to it the more I looked at it. So let's give it a shot. That would have been cool. That would have been neat. That would, that would have been fun. 
I just assumed that it was our standard loan offer, but I guess it wasn't for Sawadogo, so he gets to play against us. Oh, Mejia. And oh, this is this is really this is a really good spot, Mabaso, Mabaso. I'm kind of fine with that. Our strikers didn't help him out much. Overlap. Why do I have to sign good players and loan them to other teams? Oh my God, Sawadogo, will you chill? Goodness, what a run! All right, quick. Come on, Goose Oh, how is that the end of the highlight? He just picked the pass out. Sweeney. New Irish national team player. Cheeky. Bruno Gama. You look... Okay, okay, okay. Newcastle on another pin. That's pretty crazy. Oh, Barriento shanked the header. It's the first six minutes. Wildin'. Sawadoga's been their best player, too. It's kind of funny. I don't know about that, Mejia. We just rely on their mistakes. Yes, shoot less means crank it twice from there. Hit our boat. He had our own player both times. Pretty sure. We are fine. Dude went for an absolute worldy on us. Other than that, we are okay. Why are these highlights? They're scaring me. You're making me think they have a chance to score these. That would have been an insane goal. Yes, Gama and the Guatemalan are on the team, but Bruno Gama is the feature starter. The Guatemalan's going, giving all straight up arrows, though, for his improvement, which has been nice. We've gotten tepid the last 15. We aren't really doing anything. Resting on our laurels. Oh, yeah. Get it back to his left foot and then put the ball in. That's what he needs to do. Um. Wait, is it seriously 3-3? Three, three? Man City with the equalizer? Oh, yeah, that's in your face, Newcastle. You thought with those two cheeky little pens. Honestly, I'd love to see Man City lose. I always think it's fun. Did that was that a shot? No, that was just a un. A, a crank that style pass, and then this dude, in, in lieu of taking a touch, has gone for a world class goal. And shanked it. I'm not happy. I think we should be winning. Uh, I have faith in you, Xiao Silva. I don't want you to go out there furious or frustrated, uh, but we're going to look at substitutions 10, 15 minutes into this game. I think, I think we need to. I think we need to look at subs. We're stagnant. Haven't had massive flashing chances. This is classy. Oh, great run by Sweeney. Sweens! 
that had gone in. I mean, Sourdough going to 6.3, that's what I thought. We're using the fullbacks too much. Like, I like our fullbacks. They wouldn't be on the team if I didn't like them, but they're not that good, right? They're not that good. Okay, I don't think we're being threatened as much as we were. So I'm gonna go deep line playmaker, double Metsala here. With Sweens. Um, who else is struggling? Armando Pereira. Well, good thing we've got Michael Portilla out here. All right, good thing we've got the golden boot winner of last season in Liga Nas that we can put in off the bench. Our forgotten love, Portilla Chips, is in the game. Good blocks. Some proper defending going on. Come on, boys. Come on. It's kind of expected us to score at some point. Our defense has been fine. Turn this off. I'm always very nervous to play through the middle. Force your players to do a lot of things they don't want to do, that they don't feel comfortable doing. Um, uh, he Shen's got the ability to do the unexpected as well. Guskov's a flair player, though, and he's had real problems. So I think we go Yossi Gindi as a shadow striker uh, for this one. And then we... I'm going to make some changes. So we're going to Yossi. Long kicks, please. We're taking to Yossi. Uh... Lines further up the fields. Four direct. We've got good size up top now. And we've got Portilla, who's a nightmare off the last man. Yossi Gendy, duh. Yossi. Four three to City? Wow, wow. It's pretty crazy. Good heart from them, you know. Really showing that hard. Oh, he's on it. <laughs> nice. Yep. Yep. Love that. That's us, right? Yeah. Portia. Oh my God, Portia. He's won the ball. Get rid of it. Yes. Slip him in! It's Sweeney! <sighs> We're still good. Orozco's a great passer. Gama's not really, but we'll live with this. We just couldn't figure it out. I mean, the wrong guy ended up at the end of it. Somehow it was it's the Sweens, who's a facilitator, on a rampage. Thank you, Sweens. All right, great spot for the Sweens. Pick somebody. Come on, guys. Let's get nuts here. All right, let's let's do something. We we can finally beat this team for the first time since our first match against them in Liga Nas. We are obviously dominating them. I would like I would like to be able to do something here, guys. I, I would like it very much so. Come on. Get that ball up there, man. Hoof it. <sighs> what a frustrating match this was. Ref, 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 ref. Oh, 24 shots, 1.63 XG, majority possession, no goal. Terrible. Terrible. Terrible.
Can't do that. They'd lost every match they'd played so far this year. I don't care if they're normally good. I think I might do this uh, to get three strikers on the field. <laughs> Try this out for the next match. Well, we're moving over to a different tactic, I think. <sighs> Dude, we're so, we were so dominant in that game. That's painful. I think we were, we're training this to come back to it. I want to, we played with more promise when we played out of that situation I think using Mabasso and his ability with the ball ability to run with the ball and kind of fill that side is something we need to do more of <sighs> not enough he shin for a Z win you're right we we thought about bringing he shin in off the bench we didn't maybe he was the guy that was oh dude recook choice professional oh god my heart can only take so much. I want to see Nelly actually improve. We've known that he allegedly has all this promise for quite some time now. Hey, you know what? Okay, the unbeaten season is still intact. The unbeaten season still, uh, like... Still intact. Basso's not a good crosser either. Just for the record. Sheesh, dude. It's really not that good. It's getting paid a lot by Salzburg, though. The amount of money that we will not be able to match, so it doesn't matter, but. You know what? We've had you on our on our list for so long. I, I don't think we're ever gonna make a move. Very defensive formation. Okay. They're compact. We're going to need number. Oh my God, dude. Stop with the injuries. This is insane. He hasn't even gotten off the ground this season. Again. He missed a month and a half. Now he's out for another month. Um, You know what? For that reason, I think. Hmm. Let me try this out. Where's Matias? We'll take uh, Sweeney and put him here, Mabasso and put him here. I think this gives us an opportunity to get a lot of different guys in the field. So we've got Matias, who goes ball winner on the defense to kind of create you know, a different little width going on. And then we've got Sweeney, and then we've got you. Maybe it's a Masala? I don't know. Something like that. Or we could go Kwame. <laughs> a guy that can like move off the ball because if they're going to be really packed in we're going to need to find a way to break them down obviously Guskov's a guy we can turn to I think Carbajal is a guy that we need to think about playing more he is not as accomplished offensively so hmm Gonna get my vaccine? All right, Tito. Thank you very much for the good lucks. And Zach, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I'm not seeing where Yossi fits in. Look, we like Yossi Gendi as a change of pace off the bench. I'm just gonna like Yossi Gendi as a change of pace, okay? 
I just don't think Yossi is a guy that gets, like, starting time all the time. I actually want Zhou Zhang available since we're going to be using wingers in this game. I think Zhou Zhang fits in. Uh, do I want this to be He Shen? I think I want it to be Appiah. Not a ball winner, but a central midfielder on support. Just moving around. I think that's going to. That, that's our winning tactic against Chavez. They're very defensive. We need to. We need somebody that moves around without the ball. Kwame Appiah does that. Had to leave the stream. How are we doing in the league so far? We just drew our last match. What country is Sweeney from? He's Irish. Why change the pace when he's already full throttle? Yeah, they're generated faces, Shaggy. I've a couple of videos on YouTube to explain how you can how you can snag them. So they try and control possession, but they're very defensive in their shape. So yeah, we need to be up the field, in their face with the pressure. I think I'm going to want to tell us to get stuck in in this match. Necessary. Roscoe's certainly not wowed me. He's not done anything to capture attention in the, the runs that he's gotten, and we have such a versatile midfield. That's a no. It's a yes. Oh my god, the amount of money this guy would want. Outrageous. Nice little Italian swing from the scout. You don't need to do this. I think we know. Which sure was a barometer like, hey, if your initial report comes in under 60, it is so unlikely that I'm going to actually want any more information on this person. Alistair Hanslow, we've really kept track of this guy for a while, and he's never been somebody that we actually wanted to sign. Same with you. I mean, we're taking a step up in our scouting, which is good, because we we needed to. We had too many people on our kind of scouting list that didn't deserve to be there. This guy actually does. Right, right immediately after I say all that stuff. But the last year and a half with like our full tilt scouting team together, we've been fantastic. Face pack always crashes when I use the new gen, new gen thing. That sucks, man. Um, send an email to that email and maybe you'll be able to sort it out. But like if, if the new gen crashes every time, that just means you have the old version. It's got that bug in it. And you can just, you know, make sure you delete the entire thing off your computer and grab the new version and it should work just fine. So there's nothing to worry about. You can set percent recommendation. Uh, okay, I'm gonna set that at, I never really messed with that before being filter. Minimum recommenda recommendation level, let's get it up to 70 then. No, 60 is fine. That's, that's, not, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like after they get through their scouting reports to be like, hey, ooh. Krister Nextstar. It's a pretty cool name, too. Krister Nextstar. Looking for a striker in the first division of Portugal. What tips do you have for signing a good striker? Don't spend a ton of money. As we found, there's a lot of good strikers out there that you don't need to spend a ton of money on. A, a, a ton of money on um there are a lot of different types of strikers watch the striker video that i made what types of strikers do you want to use because the difference between a pressing forward to a target man to an advanced forward to like a deep lying false nine type guy those differences are huge and one guy that can do one thing might and almost certainly can't at this level do all of the others so you have to make sure that you're choosing somebody that's going to be able to play in your system and be successful. That's how I end up with a player like Portia, who's not actually a brilliant player, 
but in my system when he's isolated as the main goal scoring threat he's doing all of the things uh, that he does well right i uh, viega has been on trial for a while we're in no rush and we always seem to dominate chavez well that's good nice turn of things from santa clara who we can never seem to do anything against Derek, thank you so much for the 11 months as part of the Hammers. <sighs> wow! One month away from Golden Bacon. One. Can we get a report on the sexy Jordanian? No, we're working on two Jordanians right now. One doesn't look like he's going to be very good. The other one does. Does the new Gen Pack work on FM20? Yes, you just need to come up with your own search param or your own filters to isolate as many of the regions as you think you can get into one player search and then export the data from that. And if the scouts say the striker's a poacher, you discard it? No, I mean, like, really good poachers are able to do a lot of other things, but poachers are typically overblown in their ability because they have to do, like, two things, right? Move and finish. They don't even need good first touch to have, like, a good rating. That's why poachers typically have very high ratings and you're like... Why is this guy recommended? Why is he here? Jal Silva is one of our best players. Yeah, he wants a new contract, but his minimum fee release is 21 and a half. We don't like that. I'm now willing to finally reach an agreement. Okay, cool. Avaye, thank you for coming back to the table. It was my bad last time. You know, we, we failed to recognize your incredible personality, which means that you are likely to actually get towards your potential, especially as a goalkeeper with your late development arc. So we're excited. Damn. Yay, damn. How many of these guys? Oh, Stacy just showed up again for a little bit, but how many guys, how many of these guys have we found? He's not a world beater right now, but he's also, he turned 17 oh, two months ago. Oh my God. Three months ago. So how many of these guys have we found recently? He goes straight on to the uh, actual target list. Petar Todorov. We don't have enough money where we can just offhand sign this guy or else I would because yeah. Fabio Enrique, certainly worth keeping on the short list. David Hugo, well, he's getting paid a ton. His consistency sucks, and I'm not interested. Well, this guy, Dayron Jaramillo, they don't seem excited about him, though. Like, there's some, there's something wrong with him. Like, he's basically at his potential right now. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting, based off the way that they're acting. good signing for the B team, but since when was I in the business of keeping somebody on the list for the B team? Hey, conscious here. That's good. That's very good. Your freaking Hyro Concha bag. Also means that we can throw him on general rehab now, and Dorazco's coming back from like a one-day bruised shin, but you can also not go on to general rehab yet. Because he's working on a leadership course! God! Why did they not... Why did they not reject it? Why did the board not reject that stupid leadership course that I accidentally clicked on? Why? It's the one time... When their injury thing is orange, they can go to general rehab. It's the best training in the game. Can get back a lot of what they've lost from an injury. <sighs> Roscoe, I haven't checked my Twitter yet today, or uh, when I do, I will. Good guy, thank you for the tier one. Hey! Enjoy the bacon, the emotes, and being part of the an elite online gaming. Come here. Hey, I signed Camavinga on a free because I could, right? Any idea what his best position is? In football manager, it's like, you know, a deeper lying box-to-box -box type midfielder. 
In real life, it's basically anywhere in the middle third of the field. Even up on the wings, even farther. Like, he's just got that kind of skill. I've been waiting for you to stream so I can subscribe. I love the videos. Thank you. Well, welcome. We're happy to have you. The hammers are, you know. Be indoctrinated into the subscriber section of the Discord and all that stuff. Oh, out of Romola. No. No. This dude's a winger at Melgar. He's playing in Peru, so... No. Normally, something I would be looking at excitedly, but it's... How, are you, how can you possibly... I mean, maybe as an interior player with that kind of quality on the ball, I would see him pick up some more scouting. Oh, mama. This dude's in Guatemala. Jonathan Monteroso. You, my friend, just bought yourself a one-way ticket to the actual target shortlist. Hello. How are you doing today? My addiction to scouting knows no bounds. Oh, my. I want more money. How can I get more money? Who can we sell? It's Like, if we get a big offer for somebody, we're probably basically going to take it in January. It doesn't matter what position they're in. We are probably going to take that offer. Because we have some really good targets out there. Really good. Like, I get it. Joel Carvalho is a very good striker, but we have very good strikers on our team. And, yeah. Don't think we're on that level. Oh, Coben Hovind's got a great player. Coben Hovind's got another great player. Optimistic. If we get into the Champions League, those are the types of people that we can go after. Isaac Peterson, we actually don't need you. We got, like, full bore operation now. I feel like I'm coaching at a huge club at this point. This wage is nuts. How many Sudanese players have come through my scouting center? It's definitely like a record shattering amount for me of Sudanese players that have come through my scouting center. What a lack of, a total lack of physicality on that guy though. Sweeney's, I mean, he shins 5'3", Sweeney's 5'5". Five, five. Neither of those guys are physical at all. They can move pretty fast. I have one player lookup, Era Ander. Ander. Barenetsea. He's on Rangers. He moved from Real Sociedad to Rangers for 5.5 million. Uh, he did break into the Sociedad team, kind of right at the start of the save as a regular. Played four years as a regular player and then made a move in the summer to Scotland where he got off to a slow start. Didn't have a good season or two. How to counter low uh, low proposals from the AI patients. There's no way to counter them, right? They're, they're lowballing you because they think they can. So... The way to counter it is patience. Finding another dance partner. Uh, there's not a lot of things that you can do outside of that. They are so, so defensive. Okay. Jao <sighs> Silva is perfectly capable of playing out there. We're going to get stuck in. Don't want to do the force the opposition outside thing. I don't really care. Um, we'll distribute to fullback since we expect them to kind of be back and they'll have more opportunities to win the ball if we're, if we're hoofing it. Let's just make sure that our set pieces look okay. This is the first time we've really gone with a 4-4-2. Uh, Matias instead of Appia on both sides. And we've got Salazar and Barrientos. And want the ball swinging towards Barrientos in both instances. Who's at top? Armando Pereira. Yep. That's who we want. Sweeney, though. Not exactly a... Uh, Prolific jumper. 
Hi, there's Mabaso. So you get those guys off the posts, okay? All right. This is our team. We're going Appia gets the start today. Barrientos, Carbajal, Gama, Salazar, Matty Manye, Matias, Silva, Sweeney, Mabaso, Pereira. We've not run this formation literally all save. Nah, I like you too much. You get 18, Joe. Couple player lookups. Now I've actually uh, gotten to all of them. I know it's hard to believe, but I actually have now gotten to all of them. He Shin one, obviously. I mean, yeah, yeah. He Shin. He Shen. He Shen. No, he shins an actual prospect in this team. Anybody that thinks he's just around because he's Chinese has uh, clearly not been watching because he is a legit prospect in this team. He proves consistently year over year. Uh, he's comfortable in the club, in the team. He gets his playing time. You know, he's he's a baller. He shin. He shin. He shin. God, we need to win this game. We win this game, then we have 11 points from five matches. It's a good way to start the season. I'm frustrated that we didn't score against Santa Clara because we'd scored like at least three goals in our first three games. So it's pretty weird for us to be held down. We're very good offensively. Sweeney, you need to get farther up the field, man. What are we doing behind the midfield line? That's not doing anything for us. What are we doing there? Oh. He Shen's still too young for traits. Maybe in a year or two. Right now, we just want to let him grow into his game. I want to let him devote all of his training to just improving as a player. God, you dirty dog. What a shot. What a goal. Took his time. Picked his target. Tucked it to bed. He tucked it to bed, really. I mean, nice control, right? He sees a little window. Just that's cheeky. That is so cheeky, dude. Oh, oh, he's a minx. He's an absolute minx. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, we needed one. Of, we needed one of these. We needed one of these. Good old Kevin Barrientos with 19 jumping reach that is actively improving. He's going to get to 20 before he you know, reaches the pinnacle of his career, which is awesome, by the way. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. I mean, we haven't really even seen the kind of the, the formation at work. Those have both just been scramble play goals that we've found. Um, that doesn't look like a fullback, does it? Mon Armando. Michelle Silva. <sighs> How did he catch that? Played off. Thank you. Oh, he's on the doorstep. It's got to be a goal. It's a great ball. Yeah, but the keeper gets drawn forward by this position and Gama's just like aiming for the back post essentially and Silva can just tap it in. That's three. What was our goal this season? We wanted to finish third. We win this match. We've got third position at the moment in the league. That's what we want. Uh, well, your levels could drop. Don't let that happen. I'm very happy with your performance tonight. Uh, and this is, mind you, this is out of... He's playing right wing. 
which is something we were working on with Silva all last season was to give him the option to play out on the side so that we could do this and it's working. Sawadogo just scored! Anusa! He just helped our cause. He just scored against Famala Cal. See, Santa Clara's not that bad. They just had a rough start. Tough schedule or something. I don't know. He was loaned out. I wouldn't be celebrating if he was sold. We like seeing uh, we like seeing our boy succeed. Oh, Armando, just go. <sighs> I thought for a moment that he was just going to run by five guys and score. He's capable of that. Full time to City. Oof, what a match. What a match. Uh, oh, Portman Ince is top of the league. They just took the lead. Fun. Jose Matias. Underappreciated. Perpetual first team regular. Tough. Tough as nails. Straight out of the end goal in league. Oh, Farmando scored that one. A little sauce. All right, uh, one of the big boys. Nelly really wants one today. Let's make some changes. Who's not doing it? Kwame Appiah, absolute buns today. My decision-making on you, obviously not proven right. The strikers and, you know, the left wing. Let's try a, let's try a wide target man on Yossi Gendi. Let's get the ball out to him, actually. Let's, let's have some fun. Get the ball out to Yossi, and do we hold the third? No. Well, yes, we hold the third. We go Portilla in the 78th if Pereira doesn't score. Oh, Carbajal! Okay! Oh, Yossi. At least we kept the ball. Let's give it to... Oh, it's not who I expected. Sweeney, classy. Everybody get in. Get into the box. Shouldn't just be Silva. I know he's good. He's not that good. Right, he's a god, but he's not like Zeus. Like, he's not king of the gods, you know? Nice pass from Heeshin. Bruno Gamo. He's got Yossi! <gasps> I found some chocolate on the other side of my room, but Yossi Gendi! Yossi! From Bruno Gama, who's like really hitting good crosses today. I mean, he laid that on a plate for him, let's be honest. Four nothing. Yossi Gendi. From the back post to the back of your heart. All right, Pereira, who has been quiet for a couple of matches, out for Portilla. It's hard to hold your spot as a striker at this club. Oh, God, Matias. What a ball winner. What a ball winner. Oh, four. Goal! Yeah. Yeah! Oh, Carbajal, what a pass. Ja Silva knows to take it first time. Four goals for Ja Silva. An all-time performance from the prolific Oriental Dragon forward. That's a 5 nothing at home against Chavez. Oh, no, 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 it's three. Okay, wait, Barrientos. I forgot Barrientos was one of the goals. I thought he already had the hat trick. I'm sorry. He has three goals. Three. We'll redo it. Very nice victory. Oh. Woo, baby.
Happy for Yossi Gendy to get off the mark. Bruno Gama with a storming 8.8 .8 from right back. He's like, wait, you're trying to sign a wonder kid right back? Hold the phone. I'm 20 years old and I can do that. <laughs> and then IL's like, yeah, Yossi's man of the match. That Israeli connection. What up? Real Madrid incoming. Honestly, Ja Silva's probably at that level. Uh, they deserve a reward. It's got to strike a balance. Look, we won a great game. We played really well, but we've got a lot, lot more matches left this season. Definitely a good feeling when everything comes together like this. Uh, we, we've we shown that we can play at a very high level. Uh, we just need to be able to bring it every time. We've got two draws, which we're disappointed in. We want to win every time we play. Superb in front of goal. Great job, man. Unbeaten record continues. Well, we've kicked the season off with it, so... Shooting right up the table. Gives us a platform to build on. 285 minutes since Pule Matty Manye last allowed a goal to be scored against him. This is the first time in eight years that I have been asked this question. The first time. That is the first time in eight years I have been asked this question. All the defense do their bit. Oh, our defense finally doesn't suck eggs. You managed to extend your unbeaten run. Uh, one match at a time, you know? One match at a time. We have a steely resolve in these players, though. Very pleased with Shao's contribution. Uh, Carbajal obviously earned himself another game at left back. Uh, and Barrientos will be leaving the club in the near future. Uh, fans love him. He plays in the side that plays like that. We'd love to keep him. We're aware that he has talents that might well go beyond this club, but we're going to try and keep the club up to speed with his talent level, if that makes sense. We're going to try to continue to be good enough to be worthy of his existence. Also, Melgar, like, what, he's going nuts on the training ground. This is the Guatemalan. He's just having a time. Magnus, you need to get on that level. I mean, not like Magnus is having a bad time, but you need to get on that level. Chad Brown over here on the freaking B team, Henry Sunday. He's a center back. So? Pule Matty Manye emote. Yes, the Pule emotes. <sighs> Time to improve facilities. It's worth checking. Uh, the, the training facilities are still being constructed. We've been waiting on youth facility stuff for a while. I do feel like we'll be able to get, uh, maybe improve youth recruitment. We've got so much money. Please, please, I'm begging you. I am begging. I am begging. I'm on my knees. <sighs> begging you to say yes to this and it's limited it is limited how this guy doesn't budge on anything But this will be the first. This is it right here. Uh, yeah. Busy region. Can't stress how important I believe this to be, Jose. I can't. I can't even stress. Okay. Okay. Whatever. I hate youth players too. I mean, they suck. Who who likes a good youth intake, right? I mean, nobody. Absolutely nobody. He's going to he's going to take the transfer budget thing and be like, "Absolutely." Because your balance is so huge, I will 100% give you another, a, a, a re refurbished transfer budget. Told you. Mad lad over here. Thanks, boss. We'll ask again tomorrow for an improved wage budget, and you'll give us that too. The only thing you won't give us is youth recruitment. Why? 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 What's the point of that? Do we not want good? Do we just walk into the like the nearest Chinese restaurant and go? Any of you guys got sons? Like? Oh, sorry. No. No. You don't get it. They have to be born in China. Sorry. Would love to visit your lake house, by the way. 
seriously, because we have the all Chinese youth intake thing, which is like part of our club's DNA. But they all suck. And all the good Chinese players, I have to go buy from other teams. Qi Xin, other team. Zhou Zhang, other team, right? China's starting goalkeeper, starting right back. China's starting striker. Two of those guys came up in Portugal and didn't come to me. They went somewhere else. How are you Chinese and go to Portugal and you're like, ah, Fluminense. And I'm over here wearing like all the China paraphernalia, like China's number one, come here, man. We're picking him up at the airport and then he just goes and joins like the cool kids table and leaves us because we don't have any youth recruitment except for all of this attire at the airport trying to like steal children. <sighs> it's rough out there, man. It is rough. <sighs> yeah. That's, ba that's, that, that's what we have to resort to. I like, I wish we weren't those guys. We're those guys. Goodness, we finished a lot. Oh my God. Stephen Prinderville, you foxy no. Fluminense is in Brazil. Well, that's probably because we sent our guy to the wrong airport then. What am I thinking of? From holy cow, I'm thinking of from holy cow. And the wrong word came out naturally. Everybody, I want you to get, you might have never been here before. You might have been here a lot. I want you to get your cat jam. It's an emote. You just copy and paste it once somebody else pastes it. And I want you to put it in the chat. I want you to turn your audio up a little bit, right? Because this is how we, you, you gotta cleanse the chakras, everybody. Every once in a while, you gotta just, you gotta, you gotta let it go. The Inca's biggest fan, thank you for the two months as part of the Hammers. Welcome back. Looking forward to that Cook Bacon and Mario. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. You guys are awesome. Turn your audio up, unplug the headphones, maybe. Right, unplug the headphones and just let it happen. You got a lot of options. All right. Chakras feel very cleansed. Oh my God, Marenz just beat Benfica. Nice. It's actually like right next to them now. In the league, we're one point off them. Cool. Oh. That is how you start a weekend, Chad. What in the glorious hell did I stumble upon? This is an excellent question. 
he's out of breath. I mean, did you see? Sorry, I gotta, I gotta de banana myself. A cat jam is max effort. If you're ever not giving max effort on a cat jam, I don't know, I, I can't help you, right? Because how else, you, how else can you expect to cleanse the chakras if you're not providing a max effort on a cat jam? I don't think there's any other scientifically proven way. Color Hayes, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Hell yeah, brother. It's a full sin. It's absolutely a full sin. You just, you bridle up that sin and ride it all the way into town. Dude, 17. Got all this different potential and range and stuff. And actually, you know, we might just be able to do this. Hey, buddy, you want to come on in on loan, trial, whatever it is? Oh, this guy's a huge dud. Massive dud, abort. Abort. Why is one of Sweden's national team strikers playing in... China? Like what what's the what's the logic there? Yeah, I realize that dude's nuts fast. Problem is that guy that's in the freaking Ivorian league with all that space the pace and everything else just doesn't have enough. Meeks the loss of the Twitch Prime and we've initiated a hype train. Shawnee, thank you for the two months. I love you too. Banana suit takes it from fantastic to magical. Oh, it's not the only. We got a lot of we got a lot of options that we've accumulated for videos and stuff. Like I don't buy anything for I don't buy anything for cat jams. We just have a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> Baron, thank you for the three. Wow. Welcome to the land of cooked bacon and TTS. Text to speech. No, you're not good enough. Get out of my fudge. Out of my fudge. Oh, uh, nope. Oopa gooey. Sound like some sort of disease. <gasps> yes. Probably isn't good. All right. Pro mm. Oh, mm. Oh, what? Ah, oh, he's five seven. Damn it. Why did he have to be 5'7", dude? His jumping reach is 3 to 7. <sighs> Don't step on him. Baron, oh, thank you for the, the big six. Oof. Impress Alicious the six months, dude. I mean, how do you feel? You got to feel great, right? You look great. You look great for six months. That silver bacon, shiny. Maybe you'll have a growth spurt. Sure. Sure. No downside to that. Really isn't much, so. Loaned from Trino joining Pro. Oh, he's, we don't need to scout this guy. He's, he's already got his moves sorted out. Some teams agreed to pay him just a ridiculous amount of money. He doesn't deserve to go play somewhere. Oh, Saki. Uh, he's probably never gonna come free for good money just in case he does so we can kind of hang on to him definitely don't need a striker that's bad uh is somebody was saying you know we got it we have another dud alert big fat dud i'm a sing winger i'll be the judge of that 10 acceleration kind of hard to sell yourself on that one but it's actually not bad i think our scout's kind of underrating him I do not think we want anybody who's a starting center back on Chavez after what we just managed to do to them, though. Not for me. Not my taste. Hey, it worked again. Sporting continue to suck. Oscar Pacheco gets his trial. Duds United in the shrimp special. Hope you're well, Chief. Moondog I am. I hope you're well, too, man. But Cambodia. Oh, we're scouting him. Don't worry. He's just not going into the... Uh, He's not going into our immediate target for sign group, you know. He's got more important places to be. Like the hearts and minds of all those that watched him play. 
Oscar Sierra is yet to make an appearance. God, why do you suck so much? Why is he not a regular starter? He's playing often enough. He, what the f Wait, are you, you I've... Do you think that I am blind? He hasn't played. You numbskull. He's played zero games. This isn't a debate of like, well, one game is regular playing time. No. You don't you don't have any pedestal to stand on. You're standing in a ditch. Oh, this conversation has gone on long enough. Okay. He hasn't played. You've played seven matches. Oh, he's playing often enough. Get out of here. Get out of my face. Yeah. Sorry. You, you, you agreed to sign him. Johan Madrid singing the praises of Pule Matty Mania. I and mean, he played with him for two years. It's not like he's watching the team from afar like, my old team's got a wonderful goalkeeper. Oh, Sawadogo is player of the match. Nice. Hi, James. Feels training is no longer suitable. You've never liked your training ever. Oh, this is all just people being moody about stuff we've already fixed, though. Because their training report is so belated. It means overall our training's been pretty... Been pretty solid. What we've never gotten from Shaw Silva is like that, that kind of just incredible explosive improvement. It's always been steady. He always had uh, has upward arrows, but it's never like the whoosh, you know. Like we're seeing from Melgar out of Guatemala. It just it's like Mount Vesuvius of development. Who's the GOAT? Robin Wopelier? Yeah, I mean, it's a competition for second behind Wopelier. We're, you know, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on who it would be. His development is not Doge-esque. I wouldn't, no, not per se, right? I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say his development is Doge-esque. He's very quick. Runs a great 60 meter dash, you know. 100 meters is a bit long for him. You're that center back, right? Yeah. You are good. You're also on Roma, so I doubt... Wow, okay. Matias, Silva, Gindi, Sawadogo, who's also mine. Uh, Matty Manye, Carbajal, Barrientos, Gama, everybody. It's just everybody. Oh, Champani, Shaluya is bad. You are okay. Anders, Fredrickson. Looks like he could be good. We just have no actual... He's also already signed a loan deal, so he's just a long-term, you want to make sure that we stay aware of him sort of player. Julius John. Interesting. He's got no interest in a move. He's a fullback with some skill. I'm not too keen to give up on that. Hey, here's the other... The other dude. Loy Al Subi. Makes it to the second round of scouting, albeit barely. Sebastian Yepis. I get it. He's really good off the ball. I just don't see how he has the tools to, to help me. Okay, how many changes do we have to make to our team for the League Cup match? Oh, I'll go back. Oh, okay. Um, Salazar Barrientos. Uh, none. None that we don't want to make. So Appia off, Heeshin in. Let's get to our selection info. We get a look at the form. Uh, Jose Matias, I think we should... We're actually playing a pretty good team today.
Yeah, my youth intakes are very depressing too, but we celebrate them anyways and hope that we will actually celebrate in sincerity at some point in our lives. Uh, since this is a cup, I'm going to go with Samudio and Rasho Silva. Uh, this is the first look at the club's biggest ever signing in Samudio. He is incredibly fast and should be, should be very fun to watch. Roscoe needs to be around here. Let's go Billy Herrera just because Salazar is on a heavy match load and we don't know no reason to force that going into this. I'm also going to put Sweeney on the bench. Um, okay, we're going to put Sweeney on the bench. Like, no, we should have Sweeney on the bench. Somebody that can help us pick up a result. Drop Pereira. Oh, I can't do that, can I? Well, then we'll just drop Portilla from the bench. This keeps us there because Bruno Gama is also an under-21 player, so he's able to he's able to step in. Jesse Gendi there. Guskov, Sweeney, Orozco, Mejia, Salazar. Let's go Thompson. Make sure he doesn't have to play. Anybody else on a heavy match load? He should and Matias are on heavy match loads? Okay. Whatever you say, boss. League Cup. You got to look at a couple of players, including Samudio. Zhao Silva is not going to play in this match. No reason to force that. Said, it's my birthday in 38 minutes. Happy birthday, Joe Chilo. Happy birthday in 38 minutes. Congrats. Did you get any offer from another club in this save? Yes, a uh, German club. I think it was Leipzig. I think it was Leipzig. You can send him on a leadership course. That kind of makes sense. Just thought of that. Nice. He's the captain. Why not? Why not send him on a leadership course? Am I right? Am I right, fellas? Fellas, am I am I right? All right. <laughs> Biggest club signing in history. Angel Samudio, the 18-year-old Mexican winger, takes the field. Uh, carry straight forward from where you finished the last match. There's enough carry over in the team. Let's go get it. You and Hunt, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy that tasty prime steak, the bacon, the emotes, and of course, the elite online gaming community. Gotta get it there. You gotta get it out. It was Leipzig. Yeah. All right, Samudio. Look at that pace. Oh. Forgot the goalkeeper existed. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Oh, he shin. Oh my, we should have scored. Oh, what a pass. He really is a legitimately fantastic young prospect. He's still, he's only, he's still only 19. You forget how young some of these guys are. Like Silva's still 17. Oh, nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Why the system change? Uh, we felt stagnant and flat and weren't creating enough offensively. So I thought we needed to get more activity between the lines. 
It's the second consecutive team that likes to play a 4-5-1 with that defensive midfielder. Uh, so they can really make things compact if you're trying to make runs uh, from deep or kind of pass your way through them. We need to get bodies in between their players. And in this case, we did actually switch the lines. Mabaso wide, drops back, draws them forward. Pereira uh, then makes the run, scores the goal. Come on, non hell. Not used to rooting for Mexican nationals. That is the that is really the only national team that I just despise. I have fr like friends from Mexico, and it's not like the, the country thing. It's the national team. Bred into me by my fandom for the U.S. team. Like I just I just actively root against all Mexican national team players. Oh, is he behind him? God, he should have so many more goals, man. Yeah, our pa oh, look, we're an amazing passing team. The level of passing that we have in this team is is pretty insane. I mean, when we go to the bench, we bring out like He Shen, Jason Serna. All these guys have like either at least 16 vision or passing. And in Jason Serna's case, almost both. And He Shen's got 18 vision. His passing, he gets wrong sometimes, but he sees the field incredibly well. Armando could have multiple goals in this game. And he's got another shot at it right here. Yeah, he's just going to run right by this guy. Oh. If he was right-footed, that's just legit walk-in goal-scoring chance. So the League Cup is a group stage, by the way. We got to play Porto, Villa for Kens, and Famala Cal. We have to win the group. And weirdly enough, we were in Porto's... We weren't in Porto's group last year. We had to play Porto in the semifinals of the League Cup. We are reigning League Cup champions. Oh, yeah! He Shin! It's that low center of gravity. It's that low center of gravity. I'm telling you. Because they always beat you? Well, that does, uh, yeah, that helps. That helps the dislike. We, we don't always lose to Mexico. We usually lose to Mexico, and there is a difference. Aren't Mexican league sides dominant in continental competition? Not to the point of boredom. They've always won the, the CONCACAF Champions League, but that includes, like, penalty shootout victories and finals over MLS sides that choke. So... All right, good work so far, guys. Cerna and Zamudio definitely look a little overawed by the occasion, but... We're seeing some good play from a lot of other characters out there. Good check-in by Cerna. Oh, Zamudio. Take him. I didn't sign you for your back passes. I signed you because you can run by a gazelle if you wanted to. It's like he's willfully ignoring me. Someone says, oh, you knew you would get suspicious like he, he might not even be able to hear me or something. We all know he can, but I'm just saying. He Shin has been the player today. Cern has been so bad. What are we doing, Jason? Let's try, let's try Guskov. We haven't actually given him a chance to be an advanced playmaker yet. Maybe Alexei Guskov's holding out on us. He's definitely been flat and largely uninvolved when we did give him feature playing time. But what have you guys thought of Guskov so far? Sim Al says, bro, you're a legend. Hardly, my man. I just play more football manager than anyone on the face of the earth. <laughs> yes. Uh, irrelevant. You feel like Guskov's irrelevant, says Roscoe. I wouldn't say that. I mean, he's got 20 flair. It just doesn't seem to, he doesn't seem to influence the game with that.
How are you? I'm good, Bretson. Comfortable one nothing right now. Don't even think about calling that. Didn't that just look for a quarter of a second? Maybe he needs to dribble more. He's just sort of been there. Yeah, because when you look at him, he's a really talented player, right? Like, he can, he's a solid passer. He's incredibly intelligent. He's wildly creative, right? He's certainly not unathletic. He has separation speed. He's uh, He's got a pretty long engine. He just hasn't... Uh, I think he just needs a little time. I mean, he hasn't just... Bro oh, this is it. Zamudio. Zamudio! Why are we not hitting the Nas? He wins the penalty! Yes! Zamudio! We'll take that as a win for Zamudio. For Zamudio's everywhere. Dude, we are the worst penalty taking team of all time. Oh my god. Did that guy really just I was I was I was busy ruining the miss again. What is wrong with you? Did your mother drop you when you were a child? What is that pass? We got 74 minutes of Barrientos. Now it's time for Thompson. Smitty is really loving this check back. Matias, God, he's like a metronome. Oh, is he in? I mean, he did basically all he could with that chance. Won the ball, got a shot on target that had a hope and a dream of going in. Oh, come on, Smitty. Oh, the teleportation! From on hell, Zamudio! Unbelievable! Look at the skill! Woo! 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 Dude, that's why that's why I keep saying that like, what do you want added to FM? Right? What do you want added to FM? I'm like, dude, triple moves. Because the way they represent dribble moves sometimes, that's the worst one I've literally ever seen on this engine up for 21. But like the way they represented it, especially in the past, it was just like an absolute fate. Like they would just teleport through the person. <laughs> so, you know, using that, the no clip, yeah. That was uh, his beautiful little play there from Samudio. Third sub is... We're going to take Samudio off. I, I know, I know. After all that, and he wins the penalty and everything, I think it's Zhang time. The Chinese Messi, the Chessy. Still able to get some minutes with the team. Oh, make the run, make the run. Look at that work rate. <laughs> Already looking good. Pereira creates so many chances with his work rate. Collision just looks terrible. Yeah. Somebody said the match engine's trash. Like, no, I, I talked to the people that make the match engine. If you're comparing it to FIFA graphics, like, you can't run FIFA on a toaster. You can run FM on a toaster. Like, they're working with different specs, you know. They're working with different specs. And the challenge with the match engine in, in this is that you are attempting to replicate a much more complex set of attributes and stuff and so there's a lot more that's going into it than goes into players for fifa and they have to they have a whole other facet to the game that fifa doesn't uh doesn't have to deal with as much which is just the overall intelligence like on the ball and where to go with it and that sort of thing because when you're playing fifa you're you know on the ball she do that like my the uh, I'm I'm a professional player thing, which always sucked. I always wit I always wanted that to be good, but it always sucked. We should have so many goals in this game. Side volleys for keepers would be great. Yeah, they would.
But the thing about FIFA is they're working with much more like high powered specs, right? Because football manager's match engine has to be able to run on like a phone, basically, which it is just a lot harder. You know, you just can't do that with like a FIFA engine. And then FIFA's emphasis on gameplay is more centered on like your game playing experience while FM is like actually trying to replicate real life, which is they have very different goals. And what you notice about FIFA is that the players in FIFA are actually way bigger than they're supposed to be compared to the size of the field. So like football manager takes a lot of care to make sure that the height and like width of fields is like exactly balanced, right? So the player is the exact right size compared to the field. But in FIFA, the player is actually a lot bigger. And I've I'd never got a complete understanding of why, but that's just something that happened in the game design in order to make FIFA like more fun to play with. But it's something you might not have noticed until now, but the players in FIFA are way too big for the field that they're playing on. Oh, Bruno Gama, what a what a tackle. Isn't it? It may be to make gameplay seem quicker. I don't know. They're the experts in what makes like gameplay feel the best. You know, I don't know the exact reason, but I do know for sure. Because I, I heard it like from the FM guys were talking about like, well, why don't you just literally take FIFA graphics and make them this? Well, that's why. Just, they're going in completely different directions in terms of like what they're trying to accomplish. Although we played a really good game. We should have had more goals, but it's good to pick up three points in our opening match in the league group because Villa for Kent's, we should be able to handle their second flight team. And then Porto is obviously going to be the match that determines whether we go through. We hope Famalicao can take points off Porto because they are capable of that. <laughs> no, Courtois lost the bet again. No! Do you have any songs made up for your players? Uh, we have a chant for our all-time great Eric Mendez. So yes. If you can earn a song, you can earn an emote. We've got the Portilla chips going. Ah. Samudio makes his debut. A real sense of intrigue. It's not like nine key passes. Holy Christchurch. Carbajal was like, Carbajal lost his starting spot and then just went off. Carbajal lost his starting spot and has made the executive decision to go off, King. I don't want you. You're really expensive. You're not fast, good at offense, and you're good at defense, but... I mean, you're slower than my average center back. Like, why would I ever fork over the cash that you need? Stolen champ from Cantona? Okay. I didn't know that. Somebody just made it one day, and me being American with no education in the history of the game, well, I'm learning. You know, I watch a lot of TIFO. <laughs> um, okay, this guy's totally worth signing. We we don't... Yeah, he's free with a wage demand under 50000 a year. Can we go ahead and lock him into, like, a three-year contract? Yeah. I know he can't be registered. We just like to... Like to bring him in. He'll be joining us in January and probably get a run with the B team, but he's good. Thank you, Bolivia. You've contributed to the world's game. We appreciate it. We don't always fly Air Bolivia, but when we do, we sign players from Bolivar. I missed the button. Fran Beltran? He's <laughs> too expensive. It's actually pretty good. I wanted to sass him for being bad, but he's it's not. Well, he's brave. Good for him. Ah, yes. Aryan Miftaraj. Gaston Stochi. All my spidey sensors are saying no. Dud alert! Part two. Mamadou Samado. I've definitely been enjoying Tifa. Dude, Tifu's great. I actually, I, I, t I very brief conversation slid into the DMs to the guy that uh, like produces the Tifo content. And I was like, hey man, love your stuff. If you ever want to talk about American stuff, I got you. 
and he had seen the videos, which was super cool. I thought that was awesome. <laughs> thought that was a really cool experience to have, you know. Yeah, it was Joe Devine. It's great videos, man. It's so bingeable. Right topics, right length for the topic, very adjustable. You know, I try to be right length for the, to uh, the topic, like, just great stuff. Great stuff. This dude's a Dundalk. A Romley. Now, see, South Korea is a lot of fool's gold, it seems like. They they get a lot of players that are high high ability, but low potential. That's usually the sign of, oh my god. Oh, well, when did you turn 19? You Two months ago. Oh. All right. You're on the actual target list. That's, uh, his wage demands are kind of nuts coming out of Central America, but what are you going to do? He's ambitious. The man wants to buy a couple of villas, not just one. You're just going to be a great midfielder in the Colombian League for a long time. You are going to be a great forward, but staying there for a long time. Staying in Paraguay. Sorry to say, buddy. Sorry to say. I see that my boy Cloned Pandemics has come in with ESL meet the Super League. Uh, Okay, I don't even know what's happening. Super League teams playing the UCL, everyone perfect, everyone survives. You're not even making sense. Google Translate's really hard to master, and it also kind of sucks, so. Me fangirling over Tifo, yeah. Did we win the last match? Yes, yes, we did win the last match. So did Porto beat Philip for Kins five to nothing. So I don't think we're going to get the tiebreaker in the League Cup. But as long as we can beat Philip for Kins, we have a chance. We just have to go out and beat Porto. We've literally done it twice recently. So. Where do you send a scout that knows a lot of countries? Hmm. I feel like in order to properly answer this question, I'm going to need to know which countries. Probably. Oh, man. Love how fast the boys are working. Oh, wait. No. Why? God. Oh. Why are there so many good strikers, dude? Oh, he's 18. He's in Ecuador. Oh, goodness me. What am I supposed to do with that information, huh? I'm gonna lose my mind. They're everywhere. I mean, if he knows a lot of countries in a region, just have him scout a region. Have him scout a region with all those countries in it. If he knows a lot of disparate countries, ask for a recommendation, because that means he has a lot of knowledge of a lot of different uh, people. You don't deserve to still be on the short list. You know that. I know that. Let's make this ending amicable, okay? God, his 
wage is disgusting. It's gross, but he's such a well-rounded winger. I've always liked him. We tried to sign him before he headed off to Mexico. It's a shame. It's a real shame. Great work by the scouts, though. Best European country for regions, best Asian, best African, best North American, best South American. Best European country for regions uh, is Germany, I think, or France. It's one of the two. Uh, best South American is Brazil. Best North American is Mexico. It's close, though. Thank goodness. Best African is Egypt. Best Asian is South Korea or Australia. I think that one, that might be a tie. Oceania is New Zealand. You probably knew that. But if I said like Solomon Islands, you would have, that would have been nuts. Solomon Islands. Whoa! Oh, dude! Race! Wow! Reese, the editor, is here. He has his own emote. He's the editor of the YouTube channel, the lead editor. 15 months since he first subscribed to this channel. He had no idea what he was getting into, really. He had no idea what he was getting into. Yet here he is. Hanging out and vibing. In a bunch of Australian regions at Dortmund for some reason. I, I've seen that happen in saves. I know for a fact that Brazil, Egypt, and Mexico are the highest youth ratings in their continents. Thanks for the tip, limited to scout Europe scouting, scouted Eastern Europe and got some bargains. Let's go, dude. Like lower league Croatia, diamonds in the rough down there. Emery Moore, we've got a player look up. Pereira just got a concussion. Sorry, dude, that sucks. If only we had a player who led the league in goals. We do have to do though is go take him off this because he now cannot afford to play a day before we go play Boa Vista. You're talking about I'm talking about the highest youth rating on each continent. I'm not talking about the best place to go to scout up like the best young players. You know, I'm talking about the best youth rating on each continent. And Egypt definitely has the best youth rating in Africa. Egypt's is higher than England. Okay. Egypt has a nutty youth rating. If you can get, like, scouting super young Egyptian players in Egypt, it's crazy. Oh, Jose Matias just... How? Oh, what a, what a player. What a player. Jose, he's going to be an all-time legend for Angola. He's going to be a legend for this club. I mean, this is insane how good Carlos Melgar has been in training. Absolutely insane. Praise him again. I love it when we have no downside either. Like, everybody is training well. We have development going on all across the club. We've really nailed our coaches. Get in, you Ben! Leads the B team in training this week. It's not easy to do, you know. There's a lot of... A lot of lads on that B team with a lot of game. Like 35 dudes on the B team. It is hard to lead that team in training, but he, he, he get in ye bin can. You have 12 players in the Columbia national team. <laughs> Wait, the U.S. youth rating is 120. Wow. That is awesome. The U.S. youth rating is 120. It used to be 108. Nothing like a golden generation. All right, Emery Moore. He said, Besiktas. He got there on a move from Granada. So we start Olymp uh, with a loan to Olympiacos, right? And then back at Celta Vigo, he plays a full La Liga season and they suck. He goes 6.59. Goes to Strasbourg, Alsace. 
plays two seasons, struggles to get into the first team, plays two seasons is really a, a, a squad player, and then gets bought by Granada in La Liga, plays two seasons, his second one being a good one, 6.8 of 28 matches played right after a January move. And then Besiktas buy him, bring him in, and he's kind of faded out of the team. He played one full season for Besiktas, uh, then his second season was a bit of cover, his third season was a little more cover, and he has not played so far this year. So Emery Moore is fading out. 17 appearances for the Turkish national team as well. Big man wow. with the gifted sub to Roosh. Roosh. What's the wager this time? Uh, over under three and a half goals scored this next match. Ooh. Isn't that a fun wager? He's a Danish guy that plays in Turkey because he didn't like the quality in Denmark. I always saw it like, oh, that's not, no, that's not what we wanted. Staxley agreed to that. Well, you're staying for another month. Ilan Denmar. Welcome. He's got high, he's got pretty high potential. I mean, at the level that we're at as a team, that's pretty high. That's pretty high potential. I remember every more when he was the next best player. <sighs> he's an awful scout in my game. I have never heard of him before. I must have missed that hype train, not been plugged into the game yet. He wasted his talent. He was arrogant and moved from North Zealand too quick. Yeah, doesn't that happen? Oh, so often to oh so many people. Now he just wants a breakthrough prospect contract. Did we just conclusively prove that when somebody's on trial, they'll give you better terms? Maybe. It is possible. Because we did just get him on loan and then try and do the same old song and dance. And he was like, you know what? Sounds good. That deal that I didn't want to take five seconds ago. Robin Skogstad, 17-year-old center back at United. Now, since he's at United, we're expecting a good swing of development. We'll keep tracking him. Oh, wow. He just found a really good English player. Absolutely no chance and a like, snowball's chance in hell of signing him, but might as well keep an eye on him. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. I know. Okay, so I know. I know. He's only 16. I know he's got a long way to go. Right? But $1 million for a dude with five-star potential? And not only that, but like... Whales! You know? Not only that, but like whales too. Look, he's 16. We know he's got a lot of different things to work on, right? His technique is a little low. He's certainly not a physical presence in terms of his his size or, uh, or his speed. And he's not super intelligent, but he does have the great team ethos. His tackling is solid. His marking is, like, insanely high. He's extremely interested in a transfer. I think we make an inquiry. And I think we add him to the actual target list. It's a weird question, but it's like, would you pay a million for two years from now, maybe having a great center back? Like we just haven't even begin, we haven't even begun to see like how good he could be, right? Like we have, we just have not begun to see it. We haven't, we don't know how good he could be. Because he's just like, you know, 16 years old. How has the dude already reached his full potential playing in the El Salvadorian League? I don't buy it. We're going to finish that scouting report. We'll finish it strong. Oh. Lewis Boyd. Yeah, we get it. Everybody that we scouted, Abishan, ends up kind of flopping out, but... 
perceive your message loud and clear, okay? I just didn't want to because Abby John's got, got a bunch of players that you look at and you go, oh, he's kind of good, okay. The only Americans that are good are the ones that we get onto early and we bring in like Billy Herrera before they try and assume they can become anything, you know? I can smell a bacon cooking. It is. It's toasting right now, Weezer. Thank you for the two months. Looking at Paul Carlsberg, Faroese winger, started with my Skyd team in Norway's third division. Four years later, he's training with 10 ratings and scored 6-1 demolition of PSG in the UCL group stage. Wow. That, I love when people redeem a player look up, but they, they, accompany with, they accompany it with the story, you know? We know who we're looking at and what they were capable of in a different save, and you can go like, ah. Oh. All right, well, they've kind of sucked this time around, but it happens. Earl Ponce, no. Okay, so his name is Paul... Kalsberg. He's at Bronby. Paul Kalsberg, 38 appearances, three goals for the Faroe Islands. Moved on a free to Bronby, where he has been a very regular feature in the first team for quite some time. Like six years. Maybe he'll play his way into a move at some point. He's certainly a very creative player with decent athleticism, versatile across the front. But he's had a really consistent career of just being an above average player at Bronby. Which, don't get me wrong, that's a great career. But. Can you check the Mali Academy Club? I probably should just do that habitually from time to time. Uh, it is... Oh. What is it called? That's Stad Malian. JMG. Cool, 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 cool. Malian's where I, I signed a guy at a Malian earlier in this save. They got nobody. It's a good idea. You should always check academies every once in a while because if somebody pops up in them, you get a shot. Why am I consistently getting three XG, one and a half goals? Uh, that means you're either taking a ton of shots of low quality or your guys can't finish. Usually it's a bit of both. Shiluya, I thought we already took him off the shortlist, if I'm honest. Choi Kang Un should also not be on any shortlist, so. Checks out for me. Herrero's fine start to his career. Four, and goal, four goals in his first seven appearances. He'll score goals at any level in any league. I'm sure of it. You give someone like Rastislav Vasek a run for his money. Who the hell is Rastislav? Rastislav Vat? What? 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 I'm pleased that we hit the ground running. Yeah, uh, that Sweeney has hit the ground running. He's been great. We knew he was great, though. We, look, we knew Sweeney was great. When we brought in Sweeney, he was a star. I mean, how many times do you sign a guy and it immediately just says star player? I mean, he's just, he's a star. He is a star for us. He's a, he's a great player. That's it. Cotton Sport is in Cameroon, if I'm not mistaken. Greetings from Chile. What's up, Anmita? You think Jao Silva deserves a call up? Uh... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think he fully deserves it at this point. He's in brilliant form in Liga Nos, and he's only 17, but I feel like he's the type of guy uh, not impressed. Okay, no, no. Thank you. He's the coach of Portugal now, but I mean, he's also the coach of Portugal in real life, so. His adaptability's in the tank, too. There's no way I can justify keeping him on the shortlist. Frederic Fontaine.
Hakeem Khalid. Come on, just finish that report, man. You, you know, you get all the way to that point, you might as well finish it. I don't think Graffiti is a promising winger. We have different definitions of promising. Need to up the training a little bit here. So that, some defending and some outfield. We're young, we can we can train. Dude, Jill Vicente just beat Benfica. Dude, Jill Vicente is like near the top of the table. They just jump Benfica, but if we win, we're in second. Fair and square. We're playing Boa Vista at home, which is like a classic mid-table team. Why would I do that? Your compensation is 1.1 million. Why, why would I do that? In what world? Siri, like, in what world? Who provided the scout, FIFA Connor? Sorry, I forgot how much I trust you. FIFA Connor, where are you? Yeah, his ability to judge player potential is 17 out of 20, I mean. That's a fairly accurate assessment of what that 16-year-old can be. Hi from Croatia. Trying, try playing a Croatian lower league database. My star is a 46-year-old. Well, he's mature. Congratulations. As a Wolves fan, that wasn't funny. Grow a sense of humor. I promise your life will be better for it. You should never take anything too seriously, right? It's a great joke. Wolves has like one English player in the first team is Doherty. They moved him. I thought that was hilarious. I was like, well, he doesn't fit in the national team, you know? I make fun of the US all the time. Granted, it's easier to make fun of the US than Wolves, but if you can't make fun of yourself, your situations, <laughs> hopeless. Hopeless. Cup draw. Third division, cool. Rearranged our match with Benfica. Hope they put it between two other matches so that we have one day to rest on either side. That's my dream. No, it's not Dogerty, it's Cody. You're right, it's Connor Cody. So the Irish be like, <gasps> you said what? I'm not talking about Declan Rice, it's okay. Oops. Yeah, it was rough. I don't really understand why you do that. I mean, you should kind of decide, I guess. But I never, I never get mad at people for national team choices. Everybody's got their own reason. Everybody's got their own thing that they like want out of it. I never get mad at anybody for national team choices. And the US is always involved in a lot of national team decisions. We lose a lot, we win some. Even the guy that was born in, uh, there was a guy that was born in New Jersey, played for the Italian national team and you're just like, you know, the U.S. missed the freaking World Cup. You can play for Italy. I'm not going to get mad at you for it. I like that's something. It makes sense to me. It makes sense to me, right? Yeah, we'll see how good that guy is, actually. Yeah, it was Giuseppe Rossi. Yeah, he was born in... Um, And then there's Jack Grealish. Well, Grealish did the thing where he scored a goal and went like that on the Irish badge and then just left. And they're like, dude, what? okay, whatever. Like Grealish is obviously a superficial guy, right? I mean, he, you don't spend that much time getting your calves contoured for the cameras. I really hope he does that. I really hope he contours his calves. I just thought of that. You could totally do that too. Put a little makeup down there. Make those, uh, make those angles really pop. Oh, the Kuwaiti's not that good. Abdulaziz Al-Mansur. Ah, uh, dang. Darn, shoot, fiddlesticks. I just, I don't think I can stomach a striker with seven finishing. I'm sorry, I don't care how good you are at other stuff. That's not true. If you had a 20 at every other attribute, we'd probably be having a different conversation, but... Like, why are you not playing a different position? Would probably be how that conversation would start. You're an attacking fullback with, let me get this right, seven crossing. 
Don't have a lot of pace either. A lot of, lot of duds. Duds united on this scouting report right now. Absolute duds united. Are we scouting you? So we should stop. We should take you off the short list because you're just not good enough. At least we found a good Colombian goalkeeper. The fullback with stupid pace. Stacy, no! Stacy! No! Not now, Stacy, no! Stacy! Stacy. I thought we were okay, Stacy. Stacy! Stacy! Why? After all this time. Stacy just, I mean, it's like the third kale shake Stacy's had to make today. I mean, who needs that many kale shakes? I don't, right? Do you? Stacy does, clearly. Needs that many kale shakes. She will not survive if she does not get that many kale shakes. I like to think that I would, you know? I like to think I would survive. Melgar's really impressed me. Let's get him on the field. No, on a, on a league match. Not an important league match. You fool. I think I'm going to give He Shen the start here. He Shen's getting the start. He played a peach last time out. He played a freaking peach. Hey, good. See, we play Samudio once. That just kind of kicks off his development. He gets comfortable. He's like, all right, I've been on the field. I know the lads. You know, oh, Al Amra. Are we on general? No, 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 no. Yep. There we go. General rehab. Valdir, get him on general rehab again. Try and recover some of the nonsense he's lost. Then we have Shojong, Guskov, Gindi, Appia, Arazko, Mejia. Yeah, this is okay. This is our team. I'm reading about uh, the pressing of players like that. It's not really good off the ball. He's just a good finisher. So let's watch Facundo Salto. Portilla's lacking match sharpness. I think our boy Portilla Chips is going to be fine. We haven't broken out the Portilla Chip emote yet. Okay. How's Jao Silva developing? Not explosively. It's like a steady drip. His attributes are always going up, but never a lot. Uh, I fully expect you to keep our run going and win this match. We are full of expectation today, ladies and gentlemen. Full of expectation. Full of expectation. For another year older. We're another year wiser. We're another year more talented. Stacy. Stacy. I. Stacy. So help me, Stacy. Stacy! Let's win Liga Nose. It's not Liga Nose, you fool. Thank you, Mr. Bud Gaming, for the three months in Panjango. I appreciate the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Novulo. Shoot, that's 12, 12 months for Novulo. Uh, Stacy do be going ham, though. Um, hey, uh, Stace. Stays. Stays. I really just want to play this match, Stacy. Hey. Hey, uh, Stacy. 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 Yeah, in case you were wondering, uh, and there it goes. It was teetering. We've zeroed. Congratulations to all of us. We finally made it. In case uh, those were wondering, you all heard the phone conversation yesterday with the internet company. They told me that the tech was going to call in the next 24 hours. Uh, you will be shocked to hear that the tech did not call. Um, 
Yeah, you'll be shocked to hear that the tech did not call. I did not get a phone call from the tech in 24 hours or past it. So despite all the guarantees and niceness of that one guy we talked to, we have not received our tech phone call yet. And that is that. Very excited about all of that. And Stacy going absolutely off. Yeah. What a surprise. I know we're all shocked by the fact that they didn't. Yeah, this this is obviously by far the worst. I think she's she's blending the entire kale. I'm pretty sure kale's an animal, right? Uh, she's blending the entire kale. She's just laying into it right now. Stacy. Stacy. Splitting a whole herd of kale. Yeah, I think it's called a flock of kale. I'm pretty sure I'm uh, pretty sure kale um in the plural is kale eye, so it's a flock of kale eye. Um you know, something like that. Everybody needs uh everybody needs a kale shake today. Every every single person's like, yo, kale shake right now today. Um, okay, it seems to have just become constitutionally and unable to push a bitrate over like this. So we're going to go to... Have you tried an Ethernet cable yet? Thank you. Appreciate the, uh, appreciate the $5 donation. You're a hero. I really, really appreciate it. Oh my god. Oh my god. She finally finished with the kale shake, dude. It finally finished. She just finished the Oh, finally, dude. Oh, let's start the match. Jeez and crackers, man. What a shake. That was a whole herd of kale eye right there. That was insane. We're back. We're back. We're good. We're playing the match. I was waiting. Just have to ride out the storm a little bit. We've ridden the storm and come out on the other side. Knee sliding as we speak. Boys, it's over. Storm the chat. Oriental dragon have you know, well, that's what they're really referring to is Oriental dragon at home. It's over. Oriental dragon at home. Oh, Bruno Gama. Nice play, Ja Silva. Got guys between the lines here, but it's Portia. Oh. Oh, shame. Cheeky. Oh, beautiful combination. <sighs> Whenever I come say hi, so does Stacy, but you're still here and Stacy's gone. It's okay, man. You were just unlucky a couple of times. Carbajal. Mabasso, it's one-on-one -on -one in the box. I'm okay with laying it off here, actually. We get the numbers in. Nice ball. Easy goal. goal! That's why we have Carbajal in, because he can cross. It's just beautiful. It's just liquid. We're smooth with it. Mabasso didn't force anything. His left is his weak, so he, he drags the defenders, brings it back. Carbajal's in because he's an excellent offensive fullback. Keeper, I don't know what he's doing there. But Carbajal just a little chipping wedge. The back post tucked in by Ja Silva continues to fight for his spot in the Portuguese national team. Oh, Portia, no, he had him. Forced a mistake. Nearly forced a great turn. Oh, he shinned. What a ball. But he shouldn't just got an assist, I'm pretty sure. I have no idea what happened. This is a great pass, though. What a pass. And then he just gets, he like fumble, he gets hit from behind and then has to lunge for the ball. He literally has it poked out from behind, lunges for the ball, gets to it before the keeper and scores. 
Excellent preferred move. Very calculated, genius bit of play there. I think it uh, it was mutated kale shake time. Uh, maybe. Fifth Mellow, thank you for the $4.20. Kek W. Had to, you have to answer internet with internet. Uh-oh. Thank you, Barrientos. Look at the hustle from Portia. Holy Moses. Sweeney, why? Why are we trying to run in a manwich through the middle of the field? Like, we, we don't need to be in a manwich. You can want to be in a manwich, but on your own time. Okay, that's not that's not what we're trying to do during the match. All right, no manwich here. Really realistic goal. I mean, you know, he got it knocked away from behind and had to lunge for it. It's a hard thing to animate. You got to remember the match engine visually is just trying to represent what the numbers are saying should happen. Get in! He's got a Hattie! Back to back! He's, uh, he's cracked. He's unbelievable. I mean, obviously this one's fortune, right? We just put, we put one of our forwards running the back post so that they have a finisher's touch to clean things up when they kind of trickle through like that. But back to back hat tricks. Oh. <gasps> I'm sorry, Cash, about the, the money you lost in the bets. I am. Um... Oh, my God. What a goal. All from the dragon himself. From the dragon. He's the dragon. He, Shin, is the dragon. Arguably with more violence. Oh. Oh, what a goal. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Carlson, thank you for the prime. TGW with the three months. The Heeshin. Five foot three inch stick of dynamite Heeshin. Fighting for that starting spot. And he might just earn it, dude. He's got an assist. He's got a call. Dude, what? Oh. Jeez, man. Oh, my God goodness give it to me from every angle please and thank you uh how about behind the goal oh oh <sighs> 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 I mean, it's just like, it's just one of the best goals you've ever seen. How's he gotten that technique right? I, I don't know. That's the director angles also not a lot of fun, but wow. Unbelievable, unbelievable goal. An absolutely unbelievable goal. The gotta be the goal of the season. Really gonna be hard to top that. That's a magical goal. We knew he could do it. That's the weird thing. Like if there was a player that was likely to score a wonder goal, he Shen was on the top five of that list on the team with his flair. In his technique, but oh. <laughs> we crown him. He is the dragon. He is the dragon. Are you seeing this live channel? Oh, yeah, for real, though. 
stream editors are gonna have fun with that one what in the world honestly he shin is going from a hot rotational prospect to legitimately maybe cementing that starting spot i mean i'm, I'm actually serious I mean, how could you possibly put a Raz? He's got an assist in that goal. How could you put a Rosco or Guskov in for somebody that's doing stuff like that? I think he's just comfortable. He's been here for over a year now. He's still a teenager. He's got that potential that's never wavered from being outstanding. I mean, that was such good passing there. Come on, Silva. First one was good. Second one was unnecessary. Great work from Salazar here. Should have that block too. Definitely had it covered goalkeeper. Oh. oh, best goal of all time for Oriental Dragon. It's close. Uh, we have the goal that... Um, he Shen also scored against Porto in the League Cup semifinal that was mainly due to the passing. It was a beautiful one-touch, one-touch to a volley that we put together. That again, He Shen was a part of, so I know he loves that. Um, sake of resting our guy here, Jao Silva, thank you for 60 minutes. Walter Mabasso also coming off for ELC Gendi. For he's yeah no he's left footed okay um for the wide target man vibes that Yossi Gendi provides us and we will switch our distribution to Yossi Gendi. Another one. Oh, Zhou Zhang had a chance to take a bite out of the apple. Mostly streams during my classes, so I can't play FM during the streams. But now, hopefully, you can. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, yeah. We're not in front of him. He's able to hold the defender back. Our, our streak of not allowing a goal has ended. Let's actually do that. Yeah, Mejia for Bruno Gama. If he's picked up a knock, then pull him out. Hold the last sub. All right, he Shin. Oh, he just he just makes the right plays, you know. You're wide, like just beautiful, mesmeric. Honestly, he Shin again is open. Yeah, we're. I mean, we look like freaking Man City right now. The way we're we're moving, the ball is moving, and then of course Carbajal does that, and we really just need to remind ourselves that we are not. The passing standard of this team is exceptional. Oh, yeah. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> one of those needed to get by the defender. Nice pass. Love, love me some Sweens out wide. Love me some Sweens out wide. Don't love this, though. Little slow to get back. We need Jose Matias to just slow this down. And he did. Oh, he shin. That's proper defending right there from Barrientos. All right, third sub. <sighs> Who is it? Oh no, we already used three because we're running good D2. Uh, Poulet? <laughs> Excuse me? Don't do that. 
Please don't drop the ball ever again. Ah, no separation. But Carbajal's got an hour to make this pass. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, goodness. Desperation, they're able to block the shot, but... The standard of this team is so high. We we really were setting a high bar with this team. Full credit to uh, Santa Clara for holding us down. Oh, terrible pass from Xiaozhang. It, at least he's trying to pass. He's not known for being a guy that passes. See, Xiaozhang sharing the love all over the place. Here he goes. Passing again. Um, okay. <laughs> I love the gall from He Shen. He's already scored one and he's like, so, so, hear me out, right? 35 yard volley on the short hop. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. Yes, 93rd minute, we're going to win the match. Shoot, I'm going to try and outdo myself. Just go, just goes for it. Seriously, I think he Shin was better than Sweeney in that game. Obviously, he had a goal and an assist. Sweeney seemed a little uninspired, but I mean, well done. And I cannot say this enough. Um, Like, seriously, Ja Silva... I'm proud of your performance today. You earned some rest. I looked inspired and motivated and honestly can't change from there, but I'm going to say I'm pleased with that you did tonight. I've never praised he Shin like that, and uh, he deserves it. He's kicking on in training, right? He's developing as a player. And now we're seeing it translate into the matches in a way that we just haven't seen before. We're back-to-back -back matches. He's like a precision instrument for passing. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound, yeah. Saw plenty of good things out there. That was particularly satisfying. Yeah, I mean, we're we're putting together some satisfying wins, and we're still a step off Porto, who's won every match they've played. But Benfica, if they want to slip up, maybe we can snag a Champions League spot. We definitely look like we're going to be capable of cementing a comfortable European position this year. One goal away from the 10 league goals for the season, which will trigger a bonus of $2,700. I think we can live with that. He also ran nearly six miles. Uh, so, what's up, guys? Danny Yardim, he's a good player. He's enjoying uh, his performances. Yuri Turintiev, been on trial for a while. No rush. Thank you, guys. All right. <laughs> Can you show the, the Zhao Silva attributes? I guess you're just gonna have to come back next time. If you can zoom in, there they are. He's actually not improving at anything at the moment. Pretty wild. Um, yeah, he's still, still a darn good player. I know, it is that time. We've been here for five and a half hours. We, we knew we were going to put in a long shift and we kick it off, headed into October with the League Cup and all that fun stuff. Who else is around? Who else is around? Who will we be joining for the rest of the evening? Chad, I'm going to miss you guys. Stringy. All right, David. Big man. Hope your birthday was great. You know. Mombot with the, wor the world record breaking 100 gifted subs earlier today. Incredible. Ewan, thank you. Sunny, Rogue, we're going to raid over. Make sure you get your copy pasta ready. Take care, Domjin. All right. We'll see you on Monday. We'll be back on Monday. Nothing to fear. Sealand is here. We might do a stream this weekend to just keep your eyes peeled. It depends on how much stuff I've gotten done. I don't know about this... Uh, this dude's title made me laugh. Let's just... He has 55 followers. Okay, remember how we do this, okay? Remember how we do this. We're coming in. Drop a follow. Drop your copy pasta and just absolutely blow it up. For, you know, 30, 45 seconds, okay? Just absolutely blow her up. We're coming in to make somebody's day. This dude's got 55 followers. He's just starting out where I was probably three, four years ago, right? So we're coming in. We're going to parachute in. Blow it up for that stretch of time. And then 
after that, you know, kind of sit back, enjoy, get to know the guy, ask a few questions like, hey, how's your save going? That sort of stuff. Have some fun. Uh, but now like Lady Gaga fun. I'm talking like probably like Tom Hanks fun, you know, like Tom Hanks level fun. That's what we're looking for. So absolutely blow it up for a little bit. And then we're going, you know, sit back. Hey, how you doing, man? This is fun. Yeah, I know. Isn't this fun? I can get to know you, get to know the guy. He's about to have a very uh, unique experience. Uh, we better hurry. He just went full screen. I don't really know what's happening. He's kind of just grooving out. His title made me laugh. So that's why we're going here. Uh, please stay alive, my man. Please stay alive. All right, we're going. See you guys. Video comes out tomorrow. There he is. Good old Enketia. this. <laughs>